shit on top there. All right. We are all set. Welcome to the lemon ASMR hour. Whatever the opposite of the lemon sour hour is, that's what today is right now. Let's go. That's right. That's right. How's it going? It's going good. My sleep schedule is completely goofed today. Completely goofed. Hence why I'm currently streaming at whatever time it is right now. This is insomnia even by my standards. Alright, so the thing is, is I actually slept earlier today. I've been traveling today. So... I slept earlier, and unfortunately, my body is dumb, and so it was like, oh, well, we slept already, so, like, that means it's time to wake up, and I was like, no, not yet, and it's like, yeah, you know, no, it's time to wake up, so here we are. So my brain is wide awake, despite my body's protests, so we're just gonna play Sim Diablo 2. As you can see, uh, we are currently doing a holy fire build. Why did no one fucking tell me about this? This is even more broken than thorns. I don't even know what to make of this. You just walk through enemies and they die. All of them. It's so dumb. So yeah, this is going to be like a really uh, easy stream for me as far as like focus goes. I don't really have to focus. I just walk <laughs> and things die. So uh, yeah, you guys are here to kind of keep me awake slash wear me down so my brain can go to sleep. Uh, while we just kind of walk through the game and just watch everything melt around us. So there you go. Phantom of Time is always up at random times. So that checks out. Far Oasis, is that next? I already got the cube. Yeah, maggot layers here somewhere. Awesome. So let's steal all those. What are we doing? We're doing the Holy Fire run. Here, I can show you real quick. Uh, this one right here. Holy Fire. When active, an aura damages nearby enemies with heavenly flames. AKA, we're just burninating all the people. Um, normally, it adds a bunch of fire to my attacks. You can see there it's like 178 to 276, which is massive. We're not even using that. What we are doing is we're using the 29 to 92 fire damage in a 12 yard radius around us. Just just walking through the game and when things come into that radius every probably like I'd say like every two seconds or so um, it just ticks fire and everything around me dies it is dumb it is very silly and I think it's gonna get us past where we got stuck with a thorn run so looking forward to it looking forward to it you forgot my challenges could end and it doesn't work. Uh, oh, here. Is this it? Yes, right here. How about that? Uh, yeah, no. You know, it's something... I know so often challenge runs end in the challenge runner kind of manipulating the game in some way, shape, or form. To, you know, so they can actually do the challenge. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That doesn't... If it can't be done, it can't be done. But if it was fun the whole way, then I'm going to make the video. Wow, this is way better than Thorns. In Thorns, you had to wait for each of these guys to come up to you. This one, it's like, <laughs> as long as they're within viewing distance, they're dead. Impossible. There we go. Yeah. It seems like, it's a little early to tell, but it seems like the reception for that run was very positive. A lot of people really excited to see Diablo 2. Um... Apparently, we probably could have finished that run. I guess if you drag Decise out of the room, the game thinks he's dead and you can push forward and Diablo will spawn and everything. Um, but that's kind of a glitch. So it would have felt kind of crummy to do it anyway. So I'm happy with where we landed on that one. I feel like that was plenty fine. But this one, though, I have a feeling this one's going to get all the way through the DLC and more. Just judging by what I'm seeing here. 
Alright. Is this it? Yep. Layer 2. There we go. I also learned how to put the minimap in the corner. So now I can have it open all the time and not worry if I'm ruining the footage. I can't. Which is really nice. I can't. Learned a lot of good tricks from making that video. A lot of people throwing out some random tips and tricks in the comments. It was nice. Aren't some bosses fireproof? Apparently not until higher tier difficulties. Um, at least for mandatory bosses. Um, I did bump into a mini boss that was fire immune. So it's a possibility. However, it is worth noting that when you get to level 18, you can get a different kind of aura that does freeze damage. And at level 24, you can get another aura that does uh, lightning damage. So if we do get stuck, for the sake of the run, I will probably push forward and make it a can you beat the game with auras rather than make it just holy fire. Um, in which case, we should have no problem at that point. But yeah, no, so we should be fine. The chill penguin is here. Well, there we go. Perfect stream to pop on. We're, we're pretty chill today. It's a very relaxed stream today. You'd rather use the Merc? Yeah, no, that makes sense. I have honestly never really interacted with the, uh, the mercenary mechanic. Like, I, only today did I click on my mercenary when I, I accidentally got one. I was like, oops, gotta get rid of you. Uh, but I clicked on her and she, and I, I realized that, oh, wow, they have, like, a full inventory <laughs> that you can put things in. Like, you can straight up set up your merc to be, like, a high quality character. You don't need any of that. Which is crazy. Almost makes one wonder if you could make a, uh, a mercenary only run. I bet you could, but it, God, it would probably be even worse than anything else I've done so far. Probably be so slow. Ooh, lots of multicolored rocks in there. A lot of multicolored rock worms in there. One of every flavor. Oh, if you guys are done in here, I'm just gonna take all this. There we go. Thank you. All right. Is your queen in here? No? Just you guys? I can't. I am grand charm? I like grand charms. What do we got? Garbage. Hunter garbage. What class was picked? Paladin. Gotta be the paladin. <laughs> I'm ugly and I'm proud. <laughs> That's right. I bet you I could find a way to squeeze that joke into the video. I'm stealing that. <laughs> it's a good joke, I'm stealing it. Or a good reference, I should say. I can't. I can't. You can. You can. Go forward, my boy. Should probably start grabbing thawing potions. Won't hurt anything. What did he drop? Up already. I do wish that the radius triggered regardless of if there was a wall between you or not. That would make it even more broken. But uh, unfortunately, the game is smart enough that if you can't actually see them, it doesn't trigger. Bit of a bummer, but you can't have a you can't have everything. I am overburdened. You can't break the game to the utmost. Spoilers if I say where you can get stuck? Yeah, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. We'll figure it out. Don't worry about it. Remember, you might be misremembering. You might have been playing on, like, uh, Nightmare or Hell. Because I know a lot of people were telling me that in Nightmare and Hell, um, the bosses become fire immune and it becomes a real pain in the dick. But uh, we're not going to go that far. I have no intention of taking this to higher difficulties. I just want to see if we can make it to the end of the game. I just want to see the cow level. That's my goal. Are we going to do a Liza P run? I have been asked so many times about that 
that uh, it makes me wonder, like, all right, <laughs> clearly the audience is very interested in it, so I should apparently play it. Um, I do own it, so that's not an issue. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, finding the time to play it, and that's going to be a problem. Just because I haven't played through it, so I have to do that, and from what other people have told me, it's a pretty long game, like 29 hours or something like that, which is pretty extensive. Um, maybe, maybe they were just going slow, but uh, yeah, that could be a little rough, because I have to play through it at once just to figure out what I'm doing to understand the mechanics. Um, so, is he teleporting? Oh, wow, okay, well... That won't save you. I can't carry anymore. Yes, you can. Don't lie to me. Hmm. Garbage. That's fine. Um. Yes, yeah, so that's just a that's a really long commitment because I have to beat it once and I have to beat it a second time as a challenge run and that's like gonna take even longer. So, you know. Come on, be something good. Uh, I mean, the cold resistance might help against uh, fucking Duriel. That's something, I guess. How we doing today? We're sleepy. We're trying to. We're trying to get sleepier. Not really working just yet, but we're getting there. Did you kill Blood Raven to get your first merc? True, true. Yeah, you'd have to. The run would have to start after you kill Blood Raven or something like that, which isn't honestly too terrible because you can just run right to her um, so you'd basically just skip to her mission kill her and then the run begins and you could even do it like can you keep the mercenary alive so it's less about beating the game and more about like seeing how far you can get before your <laughs> before your hardcore mercenary dies That would be, like I said though, that would be kind of uh, hell on wheels. So I'm not sure if I'm up to that task right now. Maybe we can convince Mr. Llama to do that. I'm sure he'd be willing. All right. I can't. I guess I'll just stand here until this, yep, there she goes. <laughs> well, that was awful and I hated it. Thanks, I hate it. I see two rejuves. I'll take those. First, that's all garbage. Where's the chest? There it is. Grab all that gold real quick and grab the Staff of Kings. Just jam that in there now. Alright, what's next? Uh, after the Far Oasis, we need to go to the Claw Viper Temple. Yeah. Alright. Unfortunately, Eh, it's fine. We gotta sell off a bunch of crap anyway. You haven't seen a Dark Souls like take off so fast? Staff of kings. The Staff of Kings. Yeah, it seems like I said, it seems like everyone's pretty gung ho about it. Um Which is cool. Which is cool. I'm glad they got that going for them. Let's just put this in here for now. That's extra gold, so we'll take that. No. You can have this and this. I don't need any of those. I gotta put that away. Okay. Put this away, put this away. The rest of this is fine. Who's. You got anything for me? Hello. Maybe. Maybe. Could get lucky. Nope. He just don't like me. Not once is he giving me something good. That's okay. Alright. Dry hills. We need to go past the dry hills to the next area. You suggest doing the hardcore merc run on druid? Does the druid have healing abilities or something? Needs a tad of polish, what seems like a lot of fun for uh, Liza P. That's good. 
Yeah, we'll get to it eventually, like I said. I If I make a challenge run on it, because people keep telling me to do the consumables. Um, and I took that to mean that the consumables were terrible and that people wanted to see me suffer, but someone that's been playing it says that they said that the consumables are actually like one of the more powerful ways to play. So I'm down for that. But, um, yeah, we're not going to, like I said, I'm not going to have time to really play it for a couple weeks. So if I do get around to making a video for it, it won't be until like at least a month, probably two. So if anyone is uh, still trying to play through it or hasn't, you know, scrapped together the money to buy yet, you got plenty of time. I won't spoil it for you. My video will not spoil it for you. Worst type of challenge runs? Uh, the worst type of challenge runs are the ones that are just anti-fun, in my opinion. So, like, like play anyone who suggests that I beat Dark Souls one with just my fists. That's not fun. Why? What? That's not fun at all. You can't make it better. Oh, it's Beetle Burst. Nice. Get that XP. Um. Yeah, you can't improve the damage. Right. So that's kind of a problem. And then, um, there's just nothing that makes the run interesting. It's just so boring. All it is is just, and then he hit it to death. And then he hit it to death. And, it, you know, there's no way to improve the build to make it more interesting that way. There's no, like, interesting strategies you can take because of, like, weird mechanics. It's just mash R1 until everything's dead. So those ones, I hate those ones the most. I used to say I hated, like, Thorns runs, or runs where like it depends on the enemy AI. Um, however, after the last Thorns run we just did with um, the last video, I'm kind of changing my mind on that. It's kind of funny. It's <laughs> it's nice to have a game where I can just kind of not really pay attention and let the game just beat itself. I think that's kind of hilarious. So I've been uh, been having fun with that lately. Isn't it past my bedtime? Yeah. It absolutely is. Keep those going so we can keep getting all the good stuff. We can now get Holy Freeze. I'm going to dump into Holy Fire there. We're going to keep Holy Fire running until we can't. I foresee no issues with this. I don't need the ruby. More power. Phantom of Time. Traz in the Infinite History consists of two parties, a historian in the audience without <laughs> I'm sure that's a reference to something, but I don't quite know what it is, my guy. I don't know who Traz in the Infinite is. Sounds like he's got it straight though. Screaming never gets anything done. Conversations and discussions. Arguments don't don't really solve anything, do they? Best Warhammer character? Ah, there it is. That makes more sense. <laughs> that I I see the uh I see the vibe now. I get it. Well, thank you for the donation. I appreciate it. Nope. <laughs> 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 a lot of negativity happening in that chat log. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I'm overburdened. Impossible. Uh, silly. It's just because I, whenever I click on an enemy on accident, he tells me I can't because I have him set to throw. We made sure he can't actually do anything. Is making you want to play 20 skeletons? Is that the uh, Necromancer build, I take it? It works until it doesn't. Who wins the entire forces of hell in one spiky boy? Well, uh, yeah, unfortunately the spiky boy got all the way to the Lord of Hell and the Lord of Hell said... Uh, come back tomorrow. I'm busy. But don't worry. It's tomorrow. And I'm back. You think I... He thought I had something better to do? Oh, no, no, no. I'm back to ring that doorbell once again. I'm going to see if the Lord of Hell itself 
likes being set on fire. We're going to see what happens. Hey, Lucas. Good morning. Afternoon? Good night? I don't know what time it is anymore. Good time to you. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we are looking for the Viper Temple, which is probably... Ah, this might be it right here. Yeah, Lost City. Now we're talking. Zombos? Not on my watch. I do love that they don't have to actually touch me and I can just kind of just play keep away. And everything dies anyway. Ew. Just gonna let those die. There we go. Let's take these free healing potions and there's money and a charm. I'll take all that. Alright. What's our quests here? That's that one. This one's like, yeah, ask about the strange darkness. Don't worry about the darkness. We don't need to see where we're going. Everything dies anyway. Who needs light? Said the paladin. How's the run working out? I mean, you can see. <laughs> You've got eyes. Run is working better than thorns did. Which is in itself upset. was already upsetting, so... You know. The question becomes, will it get stuck somewhere? And the answer to that is, I don't know. I don't remember there being any fire immune enemies um, while I was running with, through with thorns, but I could have missed something. Ooh. Yeah, quick little buddies. Ow. All I can say is I have not had to buy a boatload of potions yet. And as you can see, we're overburdened with health pots. So, um, yeah, this has been a very, this has been an extremely easy run thus far. Just throw that on the floor, take the better health pot. Alright. Well, Chad, I know it's a little hard to see, but if you guys notice the, uh, the door to where we're supposed to go, you guys let me know. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna collect all this uh, free XP that's just walking around here. Is this a late night stream or an early morning stream? A bit of both. Depends on your perspective. We're just trying to get tired. We're going until we get tired. Oh, a lot of enemies over there. Okay. And they're dead. Is 2 a.m. too late or too early? Yep, depends entirely on how you look at that. I think it depends on what you got going on in the morning, if I'm being honest. Kind of depends on your day. Yeah, hold on now. Ooh, a lot of enemies out there in the dark. Ah, never mind, they're all dead. The better question is, where the hell is this temple? That's what I want to know. I see something. Trap door. Each tunnels? That doesn't sound right. That sounds like a mini dungeon. I'm not here for that. I did see the comments that you could kite the enemies out. Yeah, yeah. But at the same time, but like, we can do that, and we could go back, but why do that when we have something that's even better now? So, it'll just be a continuation of the story. He, the paladin got mad about it, and then found out that he could have cheated his way through. So, uh, rather than do that, though, I've got a better option. I can't carry it. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Hmm, money. Hmm. Alright, where 
where's this temple at? Somebody tell me. Oh, well, we found this. I guess we can go back to loot. Who is this supposed to ask about this? Drognan? What's up with the dark dude? This lengthy eclipse, and I believe it to be the work of claw vipers. All right. Well, uh, hey, do you actually have something I need for once? Maybe. No. 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 Garbage. Garbage. Literally anything, dude. One to only one to holy fire. I think we're doing better than that now. What are we at? We're at just one. So no. Garbage. Garbage. Another plus one to holy fire. Come on, man. You're the act two guy. Make it happen. All right. Back to the lost city. So what did we learn from that? Destroy the serpent altar in the claw viper temple. Well, that's kind of already part of what we're doing. Just kind of <laughs> people coming out of the woodwork just to burn up in flames. going on out here. It looks promising. Hmm. Nothing. Just a bunch of free XP. Upper left of the map. Oh. Is that so? Isn't that where I already was though, chat? Like that's that's by the portal and stuff that I went through. Late night lemon hours, that's right. Yeah, we're just taking it chill. We're keeping it chill, no worries, no worries. Yeah, there's nothing here. Would you ever do some runs on Diablo 3? Uh, people were saying in the comments of the last video that uh, Diablo 3 has thorns as well. Um, it took me a while to find a character that I actually enjoyed for Diablo 3, so I kind of skipped out on the Paladin because he seemed just kind of big and tanky, which was not really how it felt like playing. That said... If there is a Thorns build, which apparently there is, and apparently it's very broken. Um, yeah. Yeah, we could carry the uh, the Thorns run into Diablo 3. We have to clear Diablo 2 first. But uh, that, if this run continues to go well, that shouldn't take much longer. Hey, here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. All right, there we go. Is Cat asleep? Yeah, Cat's sleeping. During the travel, I, I had to, she took the first shift of driving during travel, uh, so I slept, and then she only got like a, like a half hour in before uh, we got home, so, guide my way in this so she, her sleep schedule's not uh, so goofy. Also, her body is not dumb, um, if she's tired, she sleeps. <laughs> For me, though, if my body gets any amount of sleep at any point, it just counts that as part of my six hours which means then the rest of my sleep schedule is all goofed so so yeah she's fine do, do, do. I'm going to drive so many people nuts in the comments <laughs> so many people are going to be like why aren't you running <laughs> Because running means I don't get to get all the free XP. We don't want to run. If we run, we'd miss some hits. Like, look at all this free loot that's just sitting around here, you know? Plus one to dexterity. Garbage. Plus one to dexterity. Okay, well that's just kind of insulting. This might go burr. This might always go burr. 
Holy smite. So what's for dinner? I can't. Oops, missed the door. <laughs> Palin's running around asking why you hitting yourself. That's right. That's right. I don't know which god it is that we're honoring, but uh, he's all about saying that. We'll have to figure out a good pun for that one. I'm sure it's there somewhere. Oh, that was not as big as I thought it was. Extra gold? Alright, extra gold I can work with. The god I worship is your old fourth grade bully. Ooh. It's yellow. Uh, normally that'd be awesome. Fuck it. Give me that extra 27% extra gold. Let's do it. Uh, this isn't my end game armor. I don't care. Won't be using that for anything else. Might as well get that cash. Ooh. I'm thinking this way. Stop kicking the things, dude. Impossible. Burning ate the snake people? I'm trying. I'm trying. We're going down pretty pretty quickly. Oh, an experience shrine. Do you mind if I do? Poison is doing some work though, holy shit. Stay out of range for everybody until that poison wears off. Yeah, I'm gonna take my, old, my own advice and uh, just quickly heal here. Who is it that I talked to? Where's lady person? Yes. No, not Deckard. There you are. Good day. That's better. All healed. Quickly, get the XP. Kill that asshole for poisonous. God damn it. <laughs> well, maybe we'll, we won't get crit poison this time. There we go. Just gotta stay away from them a little bit better. That's all. Got him. Lightning lizards. Who thought that was a good idea? Where's Valen? I have questions. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> Easy there, boyo. Give me those health potions. And I walked through it. Naturally. The light can never be extinguished by evil. I will let that kind of play itself out. Hey, Dovazir. Right on. Would you be able to do a bad breath run of Diablo 2? I don't think there is a bad breath skill. I can't say for sure though. Where is this? Jam this in here. Transmute that. There we go. Now what? Talk to Dragnan, speak with the townsfolk. Take the steps to Talrash's tomb. Where's Talrash's tomb? I feel like I should know that. Alright, who are we talking to? <laughs> Be 
did well David, don't wake up your woman. We are, I've been researching the old... Don't wake her up. Let her sleep. It's okay. Shaking her awake at like 2 in the morning. What are you doing? How may I help you? Yeah, let's see here. Extra gold, extra gold. That feels a little bit better. Sell that, sell that. The rest of this is fine. How are, you, how are we doing on armor stuff? Eh, I'm already maxed out there. Excellent. Yes, I do. Thanks for noticing. Look for the Arcane Sanctuary within the palace. That's where we're going. Alright, I get it. I remember now. In the meantime, come on. Holy freeze. Interesting. We could start that up. Thorns. Nope. Wrong run. Nothing. Still nothing. Anyone else getting bad image quality? Uh, it should just be you. We're running at 1080p, 60 FPS. Welcome to the. When the troubles began here, I have heard of. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going in. I'm here to mess around in your your palace full of demons. Why are there so many demons in your palace? Impossible. Nothing is impossible. Although, if we get a little bit, one more level, that should start one hitting these guys, which would be pretty cool. Just need a few more sacrificial lambs here. What is that guy called? A blunder boar? Hmm. That's a stupid name. Dune beasts. I don't remember there just being in Dune. Oops. Come on, give me that XP. Now nah, we're talking. Alright. Still not quite a one shot, but that's okay. It's pretty good. <laughs> I don't think I can complain about that. Faster cast rate. Does that affect? I feel like it doesn't, but we're gonna try it. Cause the other one's just giving me like an extra like nine health, which is like nothing in the grand scheme of things. No, it does not appear to increase the tick rate. That would have been cool. That would have been a neat trick. Down to level two. Is this footy? Oh, footage. Is this footage being turned into a main channel vid? Of course, yes. Absolutely. Don't you worry. I've been working on this on the side. Take that, why not? Um, but, uh, with the lack of sleep being forthcoming, I was like, yeah, you know what, I might as well stream it a little bit. Might as well stream a little bit. I'm at the, it's kind of a really slow, kind of tedious run. Not in a bad way, but, I mean, well, you see what it is. Not exactly something I have to focus really hard on, so it makes for good streaming material. Makes for good streaming material. Makes it pretty easy to just kind of chillax. Talk to chat, see how you guys are doing, you know. Mm -hmm. Wasn't Pong the first video game? Uh, it should be the first video game, technically. Yeah. If my memory serves. 
How old was that? Oh, uh, I want to say the 70s. Does that sound right? Because the 80s is when like the arcades started. When they started with Galaga, Tetris, uh, Centipede, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then it got fancier after like Pac-Man. And then the consoles started because uh, the whole point was, hey, you wanted to bring the arcade home with you. That was a nice seller too. That was good. Turning insomnia into profit. Yeah, sure, why not? Ooh, another amulet. Ooh. Plus three to mana. So garbage then is what I'm hearing. Ah, a small charm. Plus ten to life. Okay, well, yeah, that's fine. I won't complain about that one. Hey, Knight, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Gotta say, I am excited to uh, push forward and finish Blasphemous. I know we've kind of got a bit with the DLCs and stuff now, but... Uh, but yeah, no, looking forward to it. Um, today was not the day for it, of course, what with it being so very, very early and my brain not being 100% on. So, uh, that would have just ended badly. But, sometime this week, I think, we will continue to push forward in that. Um, next week I won't be have any free time. I'll be running around. But, uh, but hopefully one day this week we can push forward just a little bit more. We're getting close. You all, ooh, you are all, uh, mob minions, I'll take it. No, let's see, so you, you are fire enchanted, so that's kind of a problem, but not fire immune. I'll just kind of see down to the E. Yeah, it's going down very slowly, but it is. Eh. I've had enough of you. All right, chat. This surely is the product of a twisted mind. First way, second way, third way, fourth way. Place your gets. It's 2 a.m. You have work tomorrow. Why are you streaming? Uh, because I traveled today and my I took a nap and my brain is dumb. And it's like, yeah, yo, you're good to go. And I was like, no, it's, it's so early. And it's like, no, no, you got this, man. You're good. So we're kind of uh, we're streaming a bit until my brain remembers that it is very early in the day and I need to go back to sleep. What the hell is that? What the hell is a monster shrine? Did that spawn these champions or something? Is that what that was? It's kind of cool, I guess. You did great. Good job, gang. Half freeze duration. Ooh. Yeah, we'll take that. For sure. Just gonna move over here while you all die. Thanks. Killing guys all the way across the room. Jesus. Oh, Grand Charm. How big are you? Another 10 health. Okay. Not quite what I needed, but also not what I not needed. That wasn't actually English, but you know what I tried to say. You know what I'm trying to say. Tennis for Two was created in 1958, although it's not clear if the console's a video game. Uh, why do I feel like I know what that is? Funny that the first games ever made were basically the same thing. Tennis or Pong. 
ping pong or tennis we can we can do that that's easy enough phantom found out there's a book called Jerry Raptors that's about giraffe raptor hybrids well that can't be effective at all can you ma can you imagine giraffes are like the weirdest fucking animal let me here let me try and sell you on giraffes all right so this thing is so tall that it can reach the tallest leaves but if there's food on the ground it can't bend its knees properly so it actually has to do the splits to reach food on the ground. I'm just gonna stand here and kill these guys. On top of that, they have a big old purple tongue. Don't ask me why. And they can't make noise. It's completely mute. Because if they had vocal cords, they would, they would be stretched so high pitched that you wouldn't even be able to hear it anyway. Who made that animal? I have questions, I have concerns. I have a few notes as well, but clearly they weren't listening to anyone taking notes. Don't you wall of flame me. Sit down. Yeah, so if you imagine taking that whole mess and then trying to add raptor claws to it, I can't imagine that being effective. No sleep again? Yeah, we. Uh, I did some traveling today, Solaris, so my brain's all stupid. Hello, gentlemen. We all dead yet? Oh, it's your mob minion group. Okay. I can't. Snot horn. Jesus. Put that man out of his misery. Holy hell. I can't carry yes, you can. I uh, guess you can. Mm -mm -mm. Walking Sim D2. Yep. This is just, uh... <laughs> Diablo 2 if it was an idle game. Wow, so, okay, so that run was a complete bust. Whoopsie. Literally nothing over there. So it wasn't a first way. Moving forward. So you're saying it could be making sounds, we just can't hear it? No, I think... I'm sure scientists at this point would have, you know, taken a recording and then searched the entire spectrogram to be like, all right, is there any noise coming out of this thing? It seemed like, uh, seemed like the answer is no. I just can't imagine it having like any muscle, like just that long. I just don't think it works that way. <laughs> Biology just doesn't work like that. Get out of my way, thanks. Alrighty. Forward, ever forward. Come on, second way. Yo. challenge run this seems to be really effective yep yep the sad thing is, is that this is uh like it's minimum damage um if we were allowed to use the skill properly i would actually be doing hundreds more damage with my mace so like everyone around me would be taking this amount of damage that you're seeing on screen but then anything in front of me like a boss or mini boss that i chose to hit would basically just be melting in front of my face um this skill is extremely broken. I don't know why anyone does anything else. I have no idea why hammer dins are a thing when this skill exists. It just doesn't make sense. That's 
gonna lead back the way we came, so let's not go that way. Yeah, there shouldn't be two. We've bumped into like one fire immune enemy. Hey, second way again. <laughs> Mr. Llama, are you watching? It's me, Dad. <laughs> let's see if we can actually. Yep, yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Rest in peace, tortured soul. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Through the portal we go. That man's dead. Okay, we're looking for the half moon or crescent moon, whatever that is. Easy enough. Oop, lots of beasties. Hold on a minute. And they're all dead. So stupid. Why are you even bothering? Alright. You find your 3M <laughs> Insomnia Entertainment? Glad I could help. Glad I could help. Alright, does it tell Raj's tomb? Yes. But, which one is it? Oh. That is circle over half moon. That's not right. Keep going. This one is triangle. This one, some weird arrow things. Nope. This one is uh, also so, like sun. Okay. You like this game better than Diablo 4 and you haven't even played it? Which one? You haven't played Diablo 4, you haven't played this one. Square. I mean, either way, your answer is correct, but, you know, just curious for my own sake. Here's Moon. All right. Gentlemen, how we doing? Don't mind me just walking through. You considering playing Diablo 2 now? <laughs> uh, I would say, yeah, if you're going to play any of the Diablos, and if you like the Path of Exile, Diablo 2, definitely. Diablo 3 is basically a casino uh, full of flashing lights and big numbers. Diablo 4 is a fucking mess, and I'd highly recommend avoiding it at all costs, unless something drastically changes. Um... That is a green amulet. I want to see what that is. Siverb's icon. Okay. Replenish life plus four. Regenerate mana 40. Wow, really? That's really good. Oh, uh, sure. Why not? Yeah, we'll get some. Let's see how this works. 52, 53. It is, in fact, recharging my life. Pretty cool. I can't carry it. Won't complain about that. Oh, I also leveled up. Shit. Alright, 70 strength. That's pretty topped off. I don't think we need to go any higher than that. We always need more Holy Fire, though. Yeah, now Diablo 1, don't get me wrong, great game. Very different. Um, very much a dungeon crawler in the sense that there is one big dungeon and your goal is to get to the bottom. And I don't think enemies respawn but it's very hard. Um, very dark and spooky. A very good game and well worth playing, but if you're looking for something like a more of a PoE experience, Diablo 2 is where it's at. Your dad loves the Diablo series, so you play with him? Nice. That's the best. Finding a game you can play together as a family is always a good time. I don't care if it's Minecraft, Diablo, Call of Duty, whatever. Cock 
couch co-op games is where it's at. Or, or land parties, like, like obviously like you had to do there for Diablo. I can't. Diablo 2 was our college game. We, uh, me and my friends would, uh, make land parties <laughs> in the dorms and just play through. I don't think we ever beat the game, but we always just had fun just kind of getting together and doing that. Because you could have one copy of Diablo. And uh, back then it didn't matter. Damage reduced by one, huh? Uh, <laughs> you, could re -lose, you could reuse the CD key over and over again for land party purposes and it wouldn't matter. So everyone could play with one single CD. It was pretty cool. Alright, where are we? What's happening here? I've just been walking. I've just been walking and talking. I haven't even been paying attention to what's going on on screen. Not that I've had to, but still. Yep, everyone's dead in there. Guess we'll try this way. Touchy. No touchy. Ithrune. I can't carry anymore. But I want you to carry more. The power of fire. That's right. Cleansing fire. It's what we do. When in doubt, burn everything. Works pretty good. You know, mind the poison. Mind the poison, mind the poison. Well, that's a dead end. I'm just gonna kill this guy for funsies. This was the right way. I had it right the first time. Damn it. I can't. That's turning me to let Bobby Coda cry. Bobby doesn't have feelings. Let's not get ourselves. Machines can't cry. Hey, we made it. Now to just murder all these things by staring at them a little too hard. There we go. Alright. Put the thing in the orifice. Oh, hold on a minute. Put it there. And put this here. There we go. Ah, what did the Terraria devs do? Uh, they gave, yeah, they gave $100,000 to three open source engines, basically to tell Unity to shove it. Which is, uh, one, a show of, a show of force, uh, about how much money Terraria has made over the years. Um, and also just, like, super, like, super chill of them, you know? Alright, so... First things first, we're going to go take advantage of a few things that the chat taught me with the last video. Otherwise, they'll yell at me in the next one. You must move quickly now, friend. Or I... Yeah, 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 yeah. It is an honor to serve you. Okay, so first things first, you could take this ring and this thing and this one and this one. This is a charm, so we'll hold on to that. This is... Gold, gold, life, life. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, these all gotta go in my chest later. Uh, you can take this, though. Okay. And the rest of your stuff is garbage. Put those away. This is all fine. I don't really care. 
quest log says do things, so I cleared all the tr what's up this one. Cool. Alright. Now we go over here. Greetings. Sell me something good. Come on, man. Charge. Garbage. Still garbage. No, no, no. Uh uh. Uh uh. No. You are worthless. You don't even sell the frost thawing potions I need. Who sells those? Good day. But you? No. Just in the way? Okay. How do I get in there? How do I get in there if you're standing in the way? Yeah. Greetings. Alright, who sells my potions? It's not you. Who is it? Is it Lysander? It might be Lysander. How do I know I can? There we go. Okay. Yeah, dudes. I should do it. Back in. Set up the emergency portal. Okay. Apparently these all increase my thaw resistance so we don't get blasted too hard. He doesn't have to hit me, so I can just outrun him. Oh, that's right, he has he has an aura and he has the same aura that I can get. Frost aura. How are we doing? Eh, it's slow moving. He's a frosty boy, that's for sure. Keep the health up. Hey now, watch it. Eh, we're almost halfway. Keep the health pots rolling. Yow. Okay, out of stamina. Not the greatest time for that. A little faster. If we can get that health back a little faster, that'd be great. Alright. What are we doing? Uh, about a third left. Good. Down to the D. Never gonna catch me. Okay, he caught me. <laughs> right away. Past the D. Almost there. Stop getting hit. Stop hitting yourself. One more hit, I'll do it. There he goes. Zero deaths. Easy. What'd you give us? Tail rune, large charm, and a bunch of garbage I can't actually use. Cool, thanks, my favorite. Let's see. How big is this? I can't use this yet. Nah. Extra defense. Yeah, it's getting sold. Um. There we go. That's fine. Now then. Now that he's dead. Hello. Oh, hi, Angel. I thank you for my freedom. I did expect you earlier. All right, well. I shall honor Tal Rasha's sacrifice by destroying all the prime evils. Yeah, do let's. Proven to be the greatest of heroes. 
and I am honored to call you friend. Who are you? <laughs> I've never talked to you in my life. You can't just be friends with me. Terrible news. Bail. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Garbage. 48% versus the 45%. Faster block rate, faster hit recovery. All resistances, half freeze duration. Say no more. Okay. That's all well and good. Let me get rid of that. Shove this in here. Nothing going on in that cube, right? Right on, right on. Throw that in there. Actually, these get you better uh, magic items. How does this work? Correct wrong. Can't you? How many do you put in here? Is it three? Yeah, there we go. All right. So if I had one more flawed topaz, I could make a whatever the next one is. Duly noted. All right, cool. Uh, let's see there. Zimidias, hello. Saw this on your homepage and thought it was just a VOD. It's currently 2.21 a.m. What is going on? Lemon cannot sleep. Lemon's brain is dumb. Lemon thought it would be fun to play some Diablo 2 with chat in an attempt to wear out my brain so I can actually go to bed. But yeah. But hey, thanks for uh, thanks for the chat there, guy. Appreciate you. How fun has this run been? It's been pretty funny. The Archangel Tyrael was the one. Whatever. That sounds like lore. I thank you, mortal. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Don't want that. Where's Jerin? He's the... That's the pals, dude. Oh, dude, I got a sick purple shield. Nice. Who is bad boy? Look at that. Woo. You have done very well. Thanks, Jaren. Mischief. That's, uh, I think that's the Act 3 boatman guy. I want to say. We're moving on. Yep, it is. Act 3, baby. Jaren tells, tells you correctly. Take me away. Act three. You're about to ask for an. Ex you're about to ask for a, a explosive fire terraria run for the world bosses. The problem with that one is that it's um. Um, the problem with any terraria runs right now is that it would take a long time. Welcome to Karas, traveler. Just due to the fact that uh, any runs you do in that game are going to be a bit RNG focused. Uh, if you want a proper build. Because a lot of items cannot be made, but have to be found. So, um, like the bean aids. Super cool. Um, not set foot in glorious Kurast for many years. Maybe, or not bean aids. That's, that's the wrong one. Bean aids can be found elsewhere. Uh, but there's a lot of, like, cool stuff. Like, even starting that run, you have to run around looking for some sort of explosive. That way the demolitionist appears um and so on and so forth it's it's it just takes a long time you know night go get some sleep guy have a good one thanks for stopping by warrior want to throw someone through a window into space uh that why are you uh <laughs> Is that Starfield or whatever it's called? Is that what we're talking about over here? All right, let's see what we got going on here. Cold damage, plus it hammer. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I swear, I had better luck. I had better luck in Act One with these hammers and getting like actual abilities on them. Let's deposit all this money. It's getting a little nervous. In fact, let's go real quick. Oh, heat signature. <laughs> yeah. No, that I've looked at that, and don't get me wrong. Like I want to play it right now is definitely not the right time. Uh, Lemon's brain is half mush, so anything that involves actual strategy is not on the docket today. Um, in case you haven't noticed, this current run 
requires no strategy whatsoever. Wow, that is three to holy fire. But 90k. I don't even have that. That's seven that's seven K more than I've got. If I sold everything. I could get pretty close. Hmm. It's not the best. Three to Holy Fire is great, but what we really want is Holy Fire and Fire Resistance. Um, because Fire Resistance actually feeds into the damage. So that doesn't work. Yeah, we're back. What do you have for me today? And also 90,000 is kind of a... Whew, a little bit of a hot tamale. Don't know if I can swing that one. There's plus two to res resist fire. Honestly, probably better than the plus one to holy fire that I got going on right now, considering that uh, every bit of resist fire adds 21% fire damage per level. Yeah. Let's see. Let's do math. Um, current skill level 16, fire damage... 42 to 122. That tends to go up by about 10. So we'd probably go down about 10, but then if you added 40% to 32, 40% to 32 would be 3.2 times 4, an extra 12. It would, yeah, it would probably, it would probably add up. Probably. Let's take it. Why the hell not? something uh, this one here right yeah. yeah it's cheap too so not even a big deal in fact here we can just do the math now uh, boop okay so 42 to 122 oh right because it's not equipped oh 37 to 112 no it's not as good disappointment Disappointment. How much can I sell this back for? <laughs> Not a whole lot. Damn. Well, now we know. Now we know. Still want something that's more than just this plus one, though. Like, like come on, man. Give me at least a plus two here. Just a little extra. Indeed. Just a little extra. There's plus three to Holy Fire. And it's not 90k. Now we're talking. Okay, that is that is going to be the way we go here. One to holy fire. No, 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 no. Plus three to resist fire. Can we combine the two? Can we do that? All right. Make it happen, Captain. Let's go. There it is. Plus three to holy fire. It's a beautiful thing. What's, uh... Yep. Yep, that damage went up pretty hefty. Just in time for Karast. Let's go. Just in time. Let's go. There's some good items you can fish up. Oh, for sure. There goes the Dark Wanderer. It's going to turn into snakes in a minute. Give him a second here. And they're dead. <laughs> And just like that, they're dead. All right. Mmm, baby. Assault helmet. But where's the pepper helmet? Let everyone just kind of keel over. There we go. What's this jewel got going on? What that jewel doing? Cold resist. Yeah. It's fine, I guess. Nephrim. He had a ring. So many goodies. 
garbage. Hmm. What is it? What does this room do? Defense against missiles. Oh, well, that's fine, I guess. Another large charm. God damn. All right. Garbage. All of it. All of it is garbage. God, nothing on the screen is safe. <laughs> At this point in time, if it's on the screen, it's dead. I can. I can. No hitting. Okay, good. The flamethrower guys are not fire immune. I was a little worried about that. We're looking for the spider den. Oh, another rune. Dang, okay. It's probably one around here somewhere. Whether or not this is the correct spider den, I'm not sure, but at a time. Well, good news. There are zero spider dens over here. Okay. Back the way we came. Hmm. Patches is the best. He's a scoundrel. He's a scoundrel. That's why people like him. He's that guy that, like, you're like, oh, I can't be mad at you. I mean, you, you should be, but you can't, you know? Lotrek's just an asshole. No redeeming qualities, that boy. Jade figure. I could trade this for something more valuable. Yeah, maybe. That's the spirit, bud. An entrepreneurial spirit. We'll do that later. I don't think we can. I think we can skip that quest. Here we go. Now we're in the spider forest. Now we're talking. Or wait, no, it's the Great Marsh. Uh oh. Yeah, we won't be going too far here. It's everyone's favorite map, the jungle. Pick up all that gold. Another jewel. I want it. Can't tell me I can't have it. Plus four strength. It's garbage. All right. And back the way we went, I guess. Oh, did Payday 3 launch? That's pretty cool. Never really could get into those. But to be fair, I didn't really have any buddies that played it, so I feel like that's the entire appeal is to play that game with like three other buds so I, I that was just never gonna be my game and that's okay I think I played it I think I played the first one single player just to see what it was it was all right the third one is more rounded and less arcades uh I'll take your word for it Considering I'm, like I said, I've only played the first one. I think I dabbled in the second one, but I didn't really play it. Uh, I have no frame of reference for what uh, is and is not desired by the community on that one. So, but I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's a good time. As long as someone's having fun with it, then it's all good. Just 
Swiper, no swiping. Whoop. Got some very quick trees over here. The Entwives are angry. And now they're dead. I am overburdened. Oh yeah? Yeah. I mean, I'd be happy just to find anything here. Dying Light Molotov Run would be funny. Dying Light Molotov Run is very hard because it's very hard to make Molotovs. Um, tried my hand at that. I was like, yeah, there's all sorts of bombs. We can, it doesn't even have to be just Molotovs. It could be bombs in general. Uh, it is so hard to find the materials. Now, I will say Dead Island 1, stupid easy. You have to do a lot of travel back and forth, but you can basically travel between vendors selling goods to make the money to just buy all of the equipment you could ever need to make the grenade in that game. It's like a soap bomb or something like that. It's something silly. Um, that weapon does thousands of damage, so it's a one-hit kill against everything. And if you just go back and forth, you can make unlimited, essentially. So then the entire game just becomes a cakewalk. So, for that one, I was considering doing a... Ye of Little Faith, because playing through it would actually be boring as hell. But, uh, but yeah. You could just explode everything. It's super easy. But, uh, yeah, Dying Light, though. Less so. I could be wrong. I could just... There might be a way to, like, find materials for that game that I just am not aware of. Whereas with uh, Dead Island, I knew where to find the materials, so it didn't matter. Um, okay, we're, we're just drowning in items here. So putting these in here. Uh, so if there's, like, a constant spawn for the grenades, then, yeah, you can just make unlimited and call it a day. And it probably wouldn't be so bad. Another flawed topaz. Uh oh. I think that was the second one or the third one. If that's the case, we just made ourselves an actual topaz, I think. Holy fire. Should I put more points in strength or are we done with that? I'm going to say we're done with that for now. Let's go back to vitality. Monkey! Monkey! Payday 2 shifted what it wanted to be so much, by the end it was just bloated. I kind of got that vibe from what I played. I think also, I think I looked at like all the DLCs and stuff and I was just like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it was one of those like, I don't see what the vision is for this and so I just don't care. But like I said, I think I just I'm just wasn't I wasn't the market. I was not the demographic they were hunting for. So it is what it is. Okay, we're just gonna move on. I clearly don't need the levels here. Uh where is like the flare dungeon? I know we're well past the spider dungeon, but but I would take like the flare dungeon or literally anything at this point. Just some. Grenades only Fallout game? Uh, I started Fallout 4. Because they, you can get us, you can start with a grenade. The, like, the right outside of where you start the game. Um, out of your, like, your home base. The first mailbox there has a grenade in it. 100% of the time. Or I think it's like three grenades. Um, so that gets you started. And then, of course, from there you can blow up a few enemies, steal their loot. Buy more grenades, etc. There we go. Starting to get tired. Um, but yeah, the the problem with the Fallout games uh, is just like, what do you? I, it's hard to decide what I focus on. Like, do I 
do a bunch of side missions as I see fit? Or do I just go straight to the story missions and call it a day? Like, I really don't know. I, knowing me, I'd probably just, if I got distracted, I would follow my heart on that one. But, uh... But that means that I don't know how long a video will be. <laughs> I don't know how long it's going to take me to complete a video because I don't know how distracted I'll get. So... Yeah, a little tricky. A little tricky to do the Fallout games. Could be a lot of fun. Just, uh... Need more time. You did one of my Eve little face the pistol only XCOM. How'd it go? How did it go? I had somebody in somebody in those comments was like, "You can't do this. It's impossible." And I, <laughs> I was sitting there laughing, <laughs> but uh, because I was just like, "This guy doesn't know what he's talking about." I gave him the math. I showed him the math. Yeah, the sector pods will be hard, but come on, that's the challenge of your challenge run. And if that's the hardest part, uh, then pff, shit. Sex pods are going to be hard regardless of what kind of build you had going on, you know? When are we getting Dark Souls 3 whips only? Uh, you get that after you get Dark Souls 2 whips only. I can't carry anymore. Man, where... Is this a... That looks like a... Warp point that I didn't grab for some reason. I'm going to go get that real quick. I don't know what I was doing. I'll take it. All right, back to it. Let's see. Good evening. Hi, Deckard. What did, you, what did you give me? Okay, there you. We started that quest now. Cool. Um, got a lot of garbage to sell. Didn't identify those items. Thanks. Put these away. Garbage. 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 Less garbage. 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 Okay. You have this, and this, and this, and this, and this. Uh, I don't really need these, but they're good. Okay. And what do I have in here? What does this do? Dangerous by two. Get it out of here. Okay, bye. Deckard, you really need to move, man. Woohoo! There you go. 16% chance of getting better magic items, or getting magic items in general. Love to see it. That's pretty good. Let me give this jade figurine away. Give this away. Is it you? Are you the one that wants it? Damn it. You are not the one that wants it? Who wants this? Someone over here? Fallout New Vegas would be the best explosive run. That's the one Fallout game I've not actually played. I think I just got burnt out on Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas was the same engine, you know? So it kind of... Uh, Warm me out. Well, All right, asking about the golden bird. Oh, hello. The Pachycephalosaurus. No, no, no. I'm not a Pachycephalosaurus. Like, don't get me wrong. Cool dude. My head's not. My head's just not that hard. Um. Yeah, I don't know what kind of dinosaur I would be though. Okay, now what? Return to Alcor for your ward. So say I have to From the yep, even come back. Alright, what'd you give me? Here it is. There we go. Little extra health. <laughs> the headbutting friar tuck one. <laughs> I just realized that's the Jurassic Park 2 reference there. Very nice. Oh... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'd be. Whatever 
it would be it would be isolatory. I'm not exactly a pack hunter. I'm uh I don't work well with others in teams. Prefer to work alone. But yeah. Mm -mm -mm. You were just struggling to decide if you should save scum missions results for sharpshooters or not because not having a full team of snipers when Psychopath showed up was sucky. Yeah, I would have just done that. I would have, I would have manipulated it to get the snipers because that's the whole point, right? I know somebody else did it too, and they said that their strat was uh, I think it's four snipers, one support, and an assault. I think it was what their final build was, and that makes a lot of sense to me because the assault gets in there and gets all the crits. Um, and extra attacks, I do believe. The snipers, obviously, can then have, like, ranged sight and therefore can just kind of pick everything off at long range, and then while the assault runs in there and gets his free reaction, or, uh, his, the free evasion for the first shot, so that's really good against the sectopod, and then, uh, the support is there just to kind of, you know, ease the wounds. Pretty balanced, I'd say. Not what I would have done. I would have just gone with six fucking snipers and <laughs> just shot everything to death. But that's just me. So a T-Rex? No, I don't know about a T-Rex. T-Rex is so aggressive. I need something that's just like chill and does its own thing. Some omnivore that is pretty chill, does its own thing. I don't know what that'd be. Maybe like an Ankylosaurus or something like that. You know, that's not an omnivore, but still. Or that new... Uh, that new Ankylosaurus they discovered that has a sword for a tail. That'd be pretty bitchin'. I'd take that. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. The arachnid lair? Well, that's not right. <laughs> that's a little misleading. We'll go in anyway, but... But this isn't right at all. Why would you... Why would you call it that? You know, you'd think it'd be more like a... You would try to get it just like a little bit different? Alright, we're, we're gonna leave here. I'm, I've changed my mind. I don't want to be here. I want to get through this act. Alright, well, if this is the spider force, we're in the right spot. We just gotta figure out which... We need the spider den, not the arachnid lair. Take that though, I guess. Brandon, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well, whatever time it is over there for you. Now let's push forward. What are we going to do when we find the mobs that are immune to fire? Well, if they're mobs, I'll just walk around them. Uh, if they're bosses and mandatory, I have options. There are some there are some other auras that we could possibly work into the mix. Um, but I have a pretty good authority, and by that I mean chat told me uh, that uh, we shouldn't have any mandatory fire immune bosses until higher difficulty levels so aka we won't have that problem now we're now in the flare jungle again which is fine I guess god this works so good oh my god it's ridiculous Oh shit, I'd take a flare jungle too. Okay, there we go. Well, at least we can get everywhere now. That's good. I'm tempted to turn it up to like players eight or something. Swampy pit. Let's try. Let me let me try something. Let's go into this dungeon on players eight. Just to see. what the damage is here and what kind of XP we can get so 
So, first thing worth noting is that the enemies are not dying very quickly. However, when they do die, boatloads of XP. There it goes. That wasn't terrible. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. DS2 butterfly run at any point? Oh, uh, I was like, I, for some reason I was still in... Diablo 2. I was like, Diablo 2 has a butterfly costume? What? Um, no, probably not. Simply because we've already done the bad breath run and that was that was my poison run, you know. So, I don't think so. Uh, I will say, though, um, somebody was kind enough to make me an immolation mod for Dark Souls 1, though. Uh... And they're pretty sure they can do it for Dark Souls 3 as well. So we might be beating the entire Dark Souls series with Immolation. If you can fucking believe it. We will find out, though, how viable that is. Uh, not this weekend. This weekend I'm hoping to have another video out. But next weekend we'll do a stream because I have to get to work on something else. Um, so two weeks from now... We will be trying some emulation in Dark Souls 1 and seeing how well that goes. Can't wait. Far Cry 4 with fire? Never played it. I've only played 1, 2, and 3. A lot of people told me that Far Cry, all the other Far Cries after that point were basically just Far Cry... Um, Far Cry 3 which is a different paint job. Which I could see why. I mean, it was a great game, so they it would be silly not to just kind of emulate it. Hmm. All right. Just gonna turn that back down. As as nice as it is, okay. Go somewhere else first before that takes effect. But yeah, as nice as it is, I kind of like when things just died and uh. Actually, that's really good though. Never mind, we'll keep it on. The tiki men are gonna give me that much XP. Who am I to say no? We just need more of them. They're the ones that die quickly. Yeah, that works pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh, skull. Ooh, piece of candy. Bad breath in Diablo 2. What would that look like, though? Like, what... Is there a poison breath attack in this game? I'm not very familiar with Diablo 2, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> I'm just kind of... Just kind of playing it for funsies. I'm not quite sure how many Diablo runs we're gonna do by the looks of things we're probably worth I mean I'd like to play through Ooh, nice there we go I would like to kind of finish the run the thorns run I mean I know this isn't actually thorns but like you know this is a continuation of it so I, one way or another we will be doing this one and it seems like people are receptive so far to uh to the Diablo runs we're doing. Which is good. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know how many we'll do, though. We'll see. We'll see. This could be another XCOM. It could be another, like, random... game that people really just are hungry for for some reason and no one's making proper content for it, so... Just a hidden... A hidden gem that we found. 
but uh, I don't know. I know the speedrun scene for this game is like insane. I've watched my fair share of Mr. Llama to know enough about that, but um, but I don't know if the challenge run scene is really, or rather the edited content challenge run scene is any, uh, if there's anything going on there or not. Because I know Mr. Llama does challenge runs, essentially. He treats them like they're speed runs, but um, I know he's technically doing challenge runs all the time. But he doesn't edit his stuff down, so you have like six hour... 24 hour VODs that you have to watch in order to see what happens. Which can be uh, quite a lot. God, we're already more than halfway done to the next level already? Shit. Say what you will. This place is good for grinding. Get him. You dead yet? There he goes. I guess they're converting these into greater healing potions. What are you doing? Oh, they have shamans? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought they were just flamethrower dudes. I didn't realize they were actually like a shaman shaman. Where they can actually resurrect people. It's cool. We have the player dungeon here. There we go. Get ahead on this one. <laughs> Wait, this isn't Dark Souls? No, it's not. You are correct. Very observant. Nothing gets past you. Would the centipede demon be impossible without skips? For what? For poison? No. What are you guys on about? What are you guys on about over there? Sorry, I missed a bunch of stuff in chat. Let me look for this. Let me see what you guys are talking about over here. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, you guys are talking. I see what you're saying for the immolation run. So actually, um, the person that made the mod, they made three different versions of immolation. Because I told them, I was like, look, here's the problem. Um, unlike, Dia uh, unlike Dark Souls 2 there are full-on immune bosses and he's like yeah no problem and he hid somewhere in the game uh two other versions of immolation one i think does magic damage and the other does lightning damage um they, they act the same way they just uh they just don't do it they just do a different elemental type so i can actually complete the game so that's pretty cool uh, but yeah, so we will definitely be sitting there and watching Quelag slowly die, and the Centipede Demon, and the Bed of Chaos, although that one will not take nearly as long. Any interest in Soul Frame? I have no idea what that is, so I can't say that I do. Can't say that I do have an interest in that. And how did the Civ 5 video do? Oh, that one forever and a day ago? Um, initially, not great. But it's come around to the point where it's done fine enough, you know. I had fun making it. It was just like the last Diablo 2 run. It was just a, I just needed something different video, you know. I can't always play Dark Souls. We gotta play other games. And I think the audience appreciates that too, so. Like next week, um... The next challenge run video coming out on Saturday, so long as everything goes well, uh, will also not be a Dark Souls one. Um, just some other game that I kind of played in my free time, had fun with, and uh, made a little challenge run out of and called it good. So, we'll see if the audience likes it. Hopefully they do. Why are y'all hitting so hard, huh? Take it easy, take it easy. Just give me that XP and let's call it a day. There we go. Now you're getting it. Everyone dead? Okay. <laughs> Gotta move on. Oh, 
Lots of flares in this flare dungeon. Got it. More fire. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Hey, take it easy there, kiddo. Sprinting into the health shrine. Take these health potions that you were so kind to trade me for. I can't carry anymore. Yes, you can. I do want that small charm as well. Plus five resistances. Ah, that's that health regen what we're doing there. Hmm. Just jam that in my face. Ah, oh. Dang it. Not okay. Let's see. If it works, and I assume you're talking about th this current run here, uh, are we going to take it all the way to Act 5? Uh, yeah, no, we're going to go all the way to the end. We'll go after Bale. We will push it all the way to the end. No reason to stop at just Diablo. Impossible. I can't. For sure. Where is this man's brain? It's in here somewhere. This has been a really weird flayer dungeon. I haven't seen the door. The bottom right is where we came in. So where's... I must have missed it. It must be in here. What am I getting stuck on? No, nothing there. Am I crazy? What's happening here? Ah, hold on. Hold on, there's another little subsection over here. There it is. Alright, moving on. Soul Frame is a fantasy game by the Warframe devs. Oh! Oh my god, little, little Sculpted Boys? I never saw those. Um... That is going to depend heavily on whether or not they are veering away from the Warframe mentality or not. Because um, if it's just Warframe but Souls-like, uh, I'm out. Simply because I just... I played some Warframe. It was fine. Um, but... I think I picked this up. But uh, after a bit, it just was not for me. Like, I could tell. Like, it was not... I'm not really a grinder. I don't really like grinding out for things. And so, you know, it got pretty old pretty fast. I was only... I only ever had fun when I played it with friends. And the older I get, the harder and harder it is to uh, find the time to play games together. So... If I ever play a game, it has to have a strong single-player element. Otherwise, I simply just won't uh, be able to play it. So, at least not consistently. Alright, that's all looking good. These chain boots might be better than these chain boots. Let's find out. Hit recovery, dexterity, lightning resistance, repairs durability, enhanced defense. Dexterity, heal stamina, poison resistance, repairs durability. Technically, it's a chance to cast deal on these boots. I am overburdened. Yeah, we'll hold on to it. We won't use it. We'll just hold on to it. I right, get these keys out of here. I don't need them. Maximum stamina. Garbage. We love our garbage. I can't. I can't. And XP is just rolling in. I don't know what to do with it. Look at all this XP. What am I supposed to do with this? Can't even hold it all. It's not out until next year? Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, we got uh, plenty of time to worry about that. 
we have enough new souls like games as it is I don't I don't I don't have time to worry about the ones that aren't even out yet <laughs> I'm already worried about uh, we gotta make something for armored core Ooh, that really hurt we gotta make an armored core run of some kind I'm thinking the flamethrowers Melee is super cool. I really like the melee run. Oh god, ow. Um, I'm not an insane person, and I'm not going to just punch things to death with like my bare fists, like Zero Lenny. But, uh, because there's too many cool melee weapons. So I don't think I could ever do that. But, it is cool. I'm really liking the laser dagger. That's been pretty fun. But now uh, we'd probably stick to using the flamethrower. And the plasma thrower, I think, is a thing. I want to say. I haven't tested that one. I have it, but I haven't tested it yet. I just started New Game Plus. And I just started getting all the new missions and stuff. I'm like, ooh. So it's been, uh, I've been having a lot of fun with that. Stupid mech game made me tear up at the end. I was like, I was like this isn't supposed to happen. This is a fucking, these are robots destroying other robots. Why am I getting sad? Stupid game. It's great. It's like thorns on steroids. That's uh, basically it, yeah. That is basically it. Let's see. You might want Diablo 2 on three players. It gives the best drop boost without making enemies too tanky. Well, I'm not looking for the drops. I'm looking for XP. I want XP. Drops mean nothing to me. This build requires nothing. <laughs> yes, I know Armored Core 6 has Napalm. Unfortunately, the enemies move too fast. I don't think that's a viable build. Um, obviously, the ones that don't move get just fucking annihilated by it, but... Uh, but yeah, no. Towards the end game, like when you're fighting against all the other uh, enemy ACs, it's too much. Um, they just... Uh, they're constantly bouncing around. There's no way you're going to be able to do that properly. Not without, like, insane patience or luck. And I am not good enough at that game to say, like, yeah, I can just dodge around until I get a proper, like, animation. It's like, no, I'm constantly dying and using up my health pots. Uh, <laughs> this fight needs to end in two minutes or I am dead. So, I'm looking forward to the flamethrower run. That'll be fun. Because it just ignores their shields, which is really cool. I think it's a really nice mechanic. Or a nice trade-off mechanic, you know. Are you all dead yet? Come on. Get going. Are we going to get a review on Liza P? No, I don't think so. Um, I think... I think it's safe to say that the audience is kind of uh, worn out on reviews. I think we're going to... I think we're gonna let the big dogs handle reviews from here on out um, unless it's like something I'm really interested in then maybe but for the most part I think we're just gonna kind of take it easy that shield might be fun jam that in there put that in the box yeah, well, I'll, I'm going to play it eventually. I need to play it, and I will. Um, we will play through it. We'll, I'd like to do some challenge runs on it because apparently it's got fire bombs, and everyone's really excited about that for me. I trust them. I, I've heard good things about the consumables in general, so that'll be fun. But, uh, but yeah, outside of that, though, I don't think there's any reason to review it. I think it's probably been reviewed already. Oh, you are immune to fire. Okay, well, we're just going to ignore you. Grab the brain. Can't grab the brain. Uh-oh. Um, just chug a look at that. There we go. Problem solved. Let's get the hell out of here. Later, dude. Woo. Hi. All right. So we found our first fire immune. That's fun. All right, we're gonna sell that. Put the towel rune in here. 
Put the brain in here. I don't even know what I got going on in there. A lot going on here. Uh, we also leveled up somehow, some way. That's looking snazzy. We'd love to see it. Hello. Okay. Let's see. Take this garbage. 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 Hold on to that. Garbage. 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 And garbage. Okay. That's better. What do I have jammed in this cube here? We've got this shield that does 50%. That is better in that regard. Everything else is trash. I'm going to sell that. Oops, forgot to take it out of my thing though. There we go. You can have this. All right. Let's put uh, these in there. Cool. Very good, very good, very good. Do I think I'll do any challenge runs of Dragon's Dogma 2? We gotta do a one on Dragon Dogma 1. We gotta do that first. Dan, why are you up? That's the better question. I've been traveling all day and my brain is stupid. I slept on the drive and now I'm awake. That's my excuse. What are you doing up at very early in the morning? Reviews only when you really feel like it sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah, it's... Don't get me wrong. Like, it's been a lot of fun having game companies be like, Hey, here's a first look at a game. You should play it. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like fun. And, you know, little the little lemon inside me goes like, ah! You know, because, like, that's everything young lemon ever wanted to do so don't get me wrong i'm f i'm all for it but at the same time after getting slammed with all those gamescom reviews oh i forgot to change the xp rates we don't need this much xp right now um yeah when gamescom went off and i got stuck like doing review after review after review i could tell just by reading the comments that people are like this is too much and I was like yeah I wish I could space these out but I could not because that's how contracts work so um, yeah so we're gonna kind of take it easy as you might have noticed we're jumping back into challenge runs we're just doing a bunch of challenge runs for funsies um, we just did two weeks in a row and uh, after this weekend that should be three weeks in a row of challenge runs just to kind of make up for lost time um, so hopefully that's, uh, my way of apologizing to all of you. Mm -mm -mm. It's your Friday. You were putting off snoozing and here we are. <laughs> it's your Friday today. Is it? Oh, okay. But Dan, what if they call you in? Then what? Then what? Nah, it's all good, man. It's all good. Welcome to the Lemon Soft Hour. We need a new we need a new title for that. Not, Lemon Sour Hour is fine for the podcast, but it's the uh, but whenever I'm up late and we're basically just doing some ASMR of me just talking soft and playing stupid games that are nice and quiet. We need uh we need a word for that. We need a title for that. Sounds like you just suffer from some su from success. In a way, I guess. But here's the thing. Like, yeah, it's a it's a good problem to have. But it's also, like, not what I want to do with the channel. Like, I don't want it to just be strictly reviews, right? Like, don't get me wrong. I, I, I all enjoy doing it. When Lies of P sent me, like, a demo early and stuff, I was like, yay, that's cool. I don't really need it and I don't have time, but yay. Um... But at the same time, though, I mean, I have more fun playing challenge runs than I do writing reviews. Um, and I think the audience does, too. So there's enough people out there writing reviews. That I don't need to do a review for every every single game that comes out. So 
I would rather just do some challenge runs. And also, to be fair, uh, doing sponsored reviews is uh, kind of stressful because, well, don't get me wrong, I get to say what I want to say, and I, and I do. Uh, they still have time limits, and I need to do, like, rewrites in every time, like, I say something that's, like, factually incorrect. Like, if I say, like, yeah, this game has this and this, they're like, no, it doesn't have that. We can't, you can't advertise that because it doesn't have that. Can you please change that? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. And now, but now that's another day of editing I need to do, and now we're getting close to the time limits, and, ah, and it just gets very stressful very quickly for a video that I'm not super gung-ho about, so... I would much rather just make challenge runs for myself. Maybe do the little 60 second ads that you guys can skip through real quick. And uh, probably call it good. That would be... That would be the way. If possible. Where is this stupid spider den? Spider-Man, where are you? Where are the... Strange Festive. Thanks for being a great second minor material. Hey, hey, no problem. Finally, someone that gets it. Gotta go off to bed, but take my money. <laughs> All right, if you insist. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Enjoy your sleep. The lemon soft squeeze. No, that... That sounds dirtier than it should. Uh, <laughs> good thinking. I like where your head's at. Keep trying, though. All right, here's Spider Cavern, finally. Here we go. Ah, Lemon's pillow talk? Hell no. No, no. <laughs> no. Other way. Go the other way. Roll it back now. Get out of the way, spiders. Oh, did I get super poisoned? Uh, I hope not. I hope not, but that's kind of what it looks like. segment named lemonade is still good that's don't get me wrong that's a good one i like that one but it doesn't really apply to like this like i'm not helping anyone here <laughs> this is just me helping myself <laughs> lemonade sounds more like if i did a tutorial you know not that i don't think i'd ever would but all right let's gotta boost that help up a little bit get a little, get a little stingy here but yeah no that's more for tutorials I don't know. I don't know. We're dead. Good. Hey, the poison's over. Not today. Just gotta give them just a little bit of a wider berth, that's all. Oops, you're not dead yet. There we go. Zest of lemon. Welcome to the lemon zest. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Might be able to work with that. Get the money. Get the eye. Okay. It's another one down. Now we need to go to the sewers in the Karast Bazaar. That is somewhere we have not been yet. Good day. What do you want, Deckard? Get out of here, you old man. Get out of here, you old coot. Okay. Uh, actually, let's drop all that off too while we're here. Fire jungle was the first I got. I think it's safe to say we need to go to the right. Up and to the right, I think, is how the jungle works, if I remember correctly. <laughs> but Lemon, all your challenge runs are tutorials. No, they are not. They should not be treated as such. All of my challenge runs are warnings. They're not meant to be completed. 
every time someone says like hey i started this challenge and i always like immediately like text them in all caps like do not <laughs> what are you doing unless it was a super fun run that was not the point of the video your warnings have been ignored clearly clearly i'm speaking the wrong language There we go. I see the large shield and I don't care. I've got my purple shield and I'm happy. <laughs> we love those tutorials indeed. Yeah, okay, OB. All right. Message received. If they're not meant to be completed, why are you completing them? Look, I complete them so that you don't have to. I, I pose the question, and then everyone goes, oh, yeah, I wonder if that can be done. And then I go, yes, but it shouldn't be done. It's not a method question of whether it can be done. It's whether it should be done. And I'll answer both of those questions in turn. Please give me 30 minutes of your time, and I will answer both of those questions. And then I do. And that should be the end of it. <laughs> there shouldn't be a... There shouldn't be a follow-up question of, like, oh, okay, cool, but can I do it? And it's like, I, please, no, don't do that. <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's fine. The fact that people are picking up challenge running a bit because of my videos is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Always happy to be a little bit of an inspiration. For for the positive stuff anyway, you know. I can't carry anymore. Well, full up on healing pots. Guess we'll just push forward. Guess I'll just take this free XP and run. Should probably upgrade my armor. I bet there's like at least one or two upgrades for it at this point. Not that I need it. But it might be nice. God, this build is so fucking broken. It's ridiculous. But you completing them makes us want to complete them. I guess. I guess. I guess. To be fair, there has been times where I've done a fit challenge and I've been like, yeah, this is even too much for me. And then somebody will send me like a clip of them doing the part that I couldn't do while still following my rules. And it's like, oh shit, wow, well, I could have done it. <laughs> had I had I persisted, it could have been done. Damn. But then I remember that, like, you know, I have a time schedule and... Ooh, yellow jewel. Um, so it's like, it's okay. I don't need to beat every single one to completion. It's fine. Huh. Garbage for me. Good jewel. Garbage for me. Lord Blood Pulse, what a name. Nothing like morning backlog stream to prick up your Monday morning. Well, there you go. Glad to be of assistance. Where the fuck is the sewer? It's somewhere around here. Where, oh, where? <laughs> How many hours to play a Dark Souls challenge? Depends on the challenge. Um, give or take, more often than not, I would say most of my Dark Souls challenge runs are probably 12 hours or less at this point in time. Um, I do know the game backwards and forwards though, so there's very little fussing about. It's just a matter of me, like, getting to the places I need to go, breaking my head against a brick wall or three, and then, uh, just kind of finishing the game in a timely manner. Um, other games tend to take a bit longer just because like I said I don't know them as well Dark Souls 2 runs take forever because it's such a long game um, so that's why there's not that many videos of that uh, also Dark Souls 2 and in turn Dark Souls 3 is when the DLCs started to become just like fucking hellscapes um 
for challenge runs. They're fine for like regular runs and stuff. Like, don't get me wrong. They there's like some of the best FromSoft content is Dark Souls DLCs. But when you're doing a challenge run, it's not a good time. And so, like, I can do a Dark Souls 2 run pretty easily. Like, if I did the whip run, right? Like, it would be fine because uh, poison whips are a thing. And poison is fucking real good in Dark Souls 2. Uh, but as soon as you get to the DLC, all that goes out the window. Because everything has elemental resistance. And now, suddenly, you are trying to beat the DLC with a really shit weapon. And... Yep. And then now what was going to be like a 20 hour run now it takes about 40 and uh, there you go. Now, now you're behind and now you can't uh, keep up with your video schedules and it eh, gets, gets real crummy real fast. So, but yeah, it's a, it's a full time job. Some of these challenge runs and then that's just and that's just the challenge run itself that's not the editing and the audio recording and the script writing and then the editing of that and uh put it all together and then uh, dealing with youtube and god help you if there's a sponsor in the middle of all that and uh yeah adds up real quick a twist of lemon hmm not a bad one. I think we're on the right path there with like the lemon zest, and, like a twist of lemon. Maybe we call it the lemon wedge. Let's just call it a lemon wedge. We're all kind of leaning that way anyway. You could probably do Terraria in 10 to 20 hours. Uh, that depends highly on the RNG, and I have been known to make RNGesus very mad. RNGesus and I are not good friends. Where is this fucking sewer? I know it's in this town somewhere, but I can't for the life of me find it. Drive me nuts. Crest is always top right. I mean, we're aren't, we're in lower crest, aren't we? Do I have to go further in? Is that what the problem is? Did I goof something? If you're if you're thinking lemon wedgie, then I, you might be a little too young there, my friend. <laughs> if that's where your mind went, I'm sorry, but uh, go to sleep. <laughs> it's well past your bedtime. Go to bed, young man. Nah, we'll think on it some more, but that might not be a bad one. We'll see. God, I swear. I swear it was just like right in the middle of town last time. Am I crazy? Am I misremembering it that hard? Sewer is upper caressed. Okay, all right, that that's fine. So now we just gotta find upper caressed, and then, which, again, where? Oh, for fuck's sake, is it right here? Uh, okay. Thank you, chat. I mean, we got a boatload of XP, so it's, you know, no, no great loss or anything. But still, could have, could have shaved off a few, a uh, few minutes there. I am not a speedrunner. God, I just need nothing. I need, I need nothing. I want for nothing. All right, sewers. What are we doing down here? Looking for a shiny chest. Just looking for a shiny chest. Where is it at? <laughs> this fucking build, man. <laughs> Was there an enemy possibly on screen? Yeah, it's dead. It's dead. Don't even don't it didn't even it didn't even spawn in yet. It's dead. Can't sleep from nerve pain and also not a man. First off, my apologies. 
YouTube analytics tells me that uh, pretty much 99% of my audience is male, so I just always assume that's my bad. Second off, nerve pain. Oof. That's a rough dig. That's a hard one to get over. But yeah, then why did you go to Lemon Wedgie then? <laughs> <laughs> but back to, but I think we're distracting from the original question. Why lemon wedgie? No, <laughs> uh, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, yeah, holy fire might be a little busted. Yeah, maybe. Just a smidge. Have you seen some new games do challenge runs? Yeah, me too. It's been nice. It's been nice. It's been refreshing. For sure. I am overburdened. We got some, uh... I have to do a script today. to edit a script today. And I'm not... <laughs> considering how this morning is going, I'm not sure if I'm going to be fully awake to write the script. We're going to see how much coffee I can ingest. But, um... But yeah, no. If I can get it done in a timely manner before I get busy again later this week, um... We will hopefully have a Shadow of Mordor run on Saturday for you all, which I'm pretty excited about. I thought it was a really fun run. It was pretty cool. I don't know how long it's going to be because I haven't written the script yet. I don't think it's going to be terribly long, probably just another 20-minute video, but I thought that's what was going to happen with the Diablo video, and that almost got up to 30, so you never know. But yeah, I hope you like seeing uh, orcs' heads explode because uh, that's definitely on the docket. The lemon lush sounds like a drink. It does sound like a drink, yeah. Because <laughs> your your brain is weird, you don't know. Yeah, that's fine. It's okay. You're in good company. I'm just teasing. You're in good company. Can't say my brain went there, but my brain has gone other strange places plenty of time. So, no judgment here. Where? If I was someone's heart, where would I be? Probably the last place I look, right? Come on, come on. Is it the shoot and suck build? It actually escalated into other things, yeah. That's a cool one? It was a cool one. Yeah, it became a... It started out as a stealth archer slash, you know, draining everybody from a distance. That quickly escalated when I found out that the daggers were also spectral. Uh, or wraith attacks. So I started throwing daggers everywhere, and then that escalated. <laughs> it just it kept getting better and better. Uh, surprisingly so. And it, uh, yeah, it was it was good. It was a lot of fun. I am I am looking forward to writing that script. That is going to be a good time. Have a lot of fun runs in the works. We got that running on. I've got Wild Hearts. With the uh, Karakuri only, which has been pretty cool. I, I, I had no. I haven't actually. I played enough. I played super far into that game, but I never played with the Karakuri very much. And now that I am, it's like, oh man, I want to see what this looks like when I play normal. When I'm using like both my parry umbrella and the Karakuri combined. I just unlocked a repeating crossbow. So I'm like just setting up crossbows everywhere that are just, long, just shooting down monsters while I'm running around slamming them with giant hammers. It's so cool. There it is. It's over there. I see it. I see you. I need a key. I need a key. What bullshittery is this? All right, hold on. Guess I'll go buy a key. Making me interact with the game. How dare you? All right. Uh, trash. Just throw that in there because you never know. Well and good. Well and good. All right. Yes. 
Don't you yes me. Who sells the keys? Who sells keys around here? Is any of this useful? I'm thinking no. Yeah, I don't think so. I think we have to literally stick to Act 1 if we want to go that route. Uh, okay, maybe Alcor. Lemon coffee. Oh, man. Can you imagine? Yeah, you better. You don't sell keys. Does anyone sell keys? <laughs> Who needs keys? Oh, wait. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Karma's a bitch. <laughs> Karma, Karma and I are also old friends, just like our and Jesus. Uh, okay, well, does anyone sell keys? I don't know if they do. Maybe not here, but like just in general. As a decade-long Monster Hunter fan, is Wild Hearts worth it? So here's the thing. I think so. I think so. Um, personally, I I have enjoyed Wild Hearts and all of its new combat systems and weapons so much that it's really hard for me to go back to Monster Hunter at this point because the umbrella is just so cool. Um, the blacksmith sells them, do they? Uh, however, there's no keys here, my guy. What are you on about? Maybe, well, let's go back to, like, the Act 1 and check them out. Maybe someone here. Um, yeah, so it is... Uh, it's super cool. It's not the same, for sure. So, like, don't go in expecting, like, this is just Moss Hunter with new weapons. Uh, but it is very cool. Now, that said, um, I've heard tale that the consoles... There we go, there's a key. I've heard tell that the consoles are perfectly fine, that they figured out all the frame rate issues and it's good to go. Um, I've the Steam reviews for the PC side of things, ugh, I have to go back to the sewers, seem to indicate that for some people it's working now and for other people it's still not working. For me personally, it works just fine, but I am no longer a good frame of reference because I have a beastie like a uh, PC over here so you know I can tell you that if you're running a high-end machine it works great but as far if you're trying to play on PC and you don't have like the top model stuff I don't know and I would look into reviews to see what people are saying but yeah but it is a great game though for sure and I really like it it's been a lot of fun um, it's made going back to Monster Hunter very difficult for me um, because I've yet to beat World. <laughs> I still haven't, or rather Iceborne. I've beaten World, and I had an endgame character, and then the fucking file corrupted, and I just don't have the heart to go through all that again. Why did I take this when I could have just taken the portal? What was I thinking? What was I thinking? This isn't even the right chest. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Getting yanked around over here, my poor heart. All right, well, whatever. Uh, let's keep looking, I guess. Well, now I just feel betrayed. Just for that, I'm gonna murder everything in this goddamn cave, including Ice Hawk returns here. Yeah, he's dead. All right. Looking like a lemon peel with espresso. Can't tell if you're kidding or not. I've had some good coffee that's been like re really weird random flavors, but never, never lemon though. Upper Karast again. I don't need Upper Karast. I need the chest that's hiding down here somewhere. Where is that? Speak to me, game. Tell me your secrets. Give me your treasures. God, I hate this place. Oh. Around here somewhere. 
So what is this, Diablo 2 with Holy Fire? You got it. I am overburdened. You done nailed it there, guy. And or gal. Name's Tristan, though, I assume. I assume you male, but still, doesn't matter. I need a better way to address the audience. Can't just be calling everyone my guy. It doesn't work. I can't see your beautiful faces. How am I supposed to know? And reading is a skill I don't have. I can barely read the chat as it is. I can't read your name, too. Let's not get carried away. Right, seriously, where the hell is this thing? You ran past it? The stairs down. There's downstairs? I'm going a second lever? Oh. This is why I have you here, chat. You guys... You guys kind of keep me in line here. It's one of these doors, then. It's one of these purple doors. I guess we'll find it. That's the bazaar. That ain't it. Keep going. The wedgelings. I don't need to. Well, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to get too weird. I don't want to get too weird with it. I like just calling you guys chat. That works out pretty well. Cause that way everyone feels involved. Cause you're you're in the chat. Doesn't matter if you are like a member of the community or not. Also the bizarre. Damn it. Whereas if I start calling you guys like the scholars. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, I think Solaris has got the right of it there. You're the Academy Scholars. It only makes sense. Especially this chat over here. You guys you guys are the uh the original scholars here. You're not here just for the challenge runs, you're here for everything. You're here to study. That's upper carast again. Am I supposed to be in Upper Karas? Where am I going? What am I doing here? Search the six temples in the bazaar, Upper Karas, and the causeway for a plan. Use some tome. No. I want this. Sewers under the Karas Bazaar. Yeah, so it's in here somewhere. Scholars works? Yeah, there we go. We'll take it. Honestly, I need to kind of change things up a little bit. With, uh... What do we call it? Um, it's next to my portal. Is it really? Jesus. Okay. I'll go check that out. Thank you for the landmark. Um, I need to change up the tiers a little bit. The Not what they do, but the naming. Because the original names, like the Water of Blessing and stuff like that, that's all from Salt and Sanctuary. And we've kind of moved past that at this point. I feel like it's safe to say we can give that a different name. So I'll have to look, I have to think into that. I have a lot of things I need to adjust. There's the sewer lover. Well, that's, that's fucking frustrating. Uh, okay. <laughs> we did it. Is it right here? I can't it's, just, carry it's just right here. Okay, whatever. Moving on. Now what? Trevinkle? We're going to Trevinkle? Okay. Which is probably an upper caress forward. All right, moving on. We did it. I killed everything like I said I would. My promise has been delivered. If memory serves, I think Trevinkle is always just no. this way. Yeah, it'll be just across this fancy old bridge here. There we go. We're in the causeway. Wrinkle. All right, Solaris, have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping by. All right, woo. Get everyone going here. All right, kill the high council. All righty. We're gonna set up a portal here. It's a little spicy, but let's see. Council members take pretty decent damage, actually. Not nearly as bad as the Thorns run. This is good. And I can run away. Ooh, level up. 
More holy fire, don't mind if I do. 100 vitality. Ooh, you were extra strong. That's not good. And flame enchanted? Ooh, not good. Well, because we're just uh, walking back and forth here. You dead yet? Gelb? <laughs> good night, David. Have a good one. Does anyone else get Dark Alliance and Champion of North Vibes from D2? Yeah, I see that. I don't think I don't think I've ever played Champion of Norath, but I have played Dark Alliance, and that one is a hundred percent true. I am oh look, the flail! Me. Oh look, a flail! All right, where was my emergency portal? Back this way. We can just take that now. Shut up, Deckard. Uh, okay, let's see. Brain, jam that in there. I jam that in there. Transmute it. Fancy flail. Stick it in the uh, offhand. Whoops, too far. Anything else I need to get rid of here? Nope. That's fine. Okay. We should be fine now that we've gotten rid of one of the harder council members, so... I think we'll just kind of play it. There he goes. Get out of here, Hydras. Nobody likes you. Except sorcerers. They love you. Great charm. Shove that in my mouth. Garbage. I'd rather have the health pots. Gold is no longer of a concern. We're gonna use this to smash things, okay. Got one more council member, might as well finish him off. And then we'll move forward. To Mephisto's Cafe, woohoo! The there he goes. Shine anew with the light. I'm gonna wait until those go away. Ah, there we go. Yeah, fire immune bo like main bosses should be strictly, um, what do you call it? Nightmare or hell? There it goes. Took a sweet time. Should be. <laughs> George, you you can come and go as you please. Do not worry. Alright. Switch over to the actual thing here. Oh, they took away my thing, huh? Alright. It's locked. It is locked. Very observant. I need a key. No, we're not doing keys. <laughs> We've given up that life. No more keys. Alright, just kinda murder everything around here. Hey Shrek, how's it going? You dropping around runes for me. You dropping those for me. Too kind, too kind. There we go. Do you think there's an AFK strat that you could go through all difficulty levels in Diablo 2? Uh, I mean, kind of the thing we're doing right now, yeah. There's no, like, actual AFK you could do, per se. I mean, unless you wrote, like, a script. But, uh, in which case, you could set it up so that it basically teleports you to one area with, like, say, like, this skill on. Um, hopefully kills everything in that area. Teleports back, which would then reset the area. Um, and so on and so forth. And you could kind of do that for forever. But it would be with, like, uh, diminishing returns. So I don't think so. I don't think so. But like I said, if you if you put on just holy auras of any kind, um, you could just kind of idle game it. Ooh. Ooh. 
Hold on a minute now. What have we here? I can't look at this. Ah, there we go. Eisenhart's case breastplate. Well, that's definitely better than what I'm wearing. 40 defense, magic damage reduced by 2, and just a solid defense in general. Well, this gives me extra gold, and that's 16%, but, I mean, you know, if we got a green drop, we got to put it on. We got to give it a look-see, Lou. Besides, we're here for the defense anyway. Look how cool my guy looks. Big beefcake. Look at him go. Skeletons are great for AFK. That's true. Yeah, you could do that too. Considering they'll kind of hunt down your prey for you. You don't have to worry about like the aura being within range or anything. Well, he's dead. I am overburdened. Now they're dead. Uh, how do I get through here? There we go. This looks about right. Level two. Kill Mephisto. All righty. That sounds promising. Set up a portal here. I'm running around 13,000 cash. That's fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. We got lightning enchanted. Nah. Did you? Yeah, you did. And uh, you're dead now too. Okay. What are you doing? Teleportation and mana burn? Neither of those are going to bother me. You go ahead and do what you like. I'm just going to maneuver away from your hydras there and uh, we'll call it good. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, hi, Mephisto. Did not realize you were this close. Okay, so it looks like it's hitting him. Just like he's hitting me. Very hard, I might say. Oh, shit. Yep. It's working. It's working. It's just a matter of staying away from him. Oops. Next time, they're not the Blood Lords. Shit. Baby, that hurts. Yowza. Unfortunately, you can't hide behind things because those go through objects. Ow. Liam, just tuning in. How's the run going? Very well. Very, very well. Until I died. Liam! No, I'm just kidding. I think that's actually my first death. I want to say that, yeah, that is absolutely my first death in this entire run. You just had to jinx it, didn't you, Liam? Yeah. Oh, chat. That's okay. We set down the safety teleport. We knew things like this would happen. We knew. We knew. I felt it coming. We were due. We were due for it. The nice thing is that all of my armor and stuff, aside from the defense, uh, does not benefit me in any way. So it's really not uh, super necessary if I couldn't reach it in time. But obviously, that wasn't an issue either. But yeah, we uh, vastly uh, did not have enough lightning resistance. 
did not occur to me. In the Thorns run, I just kind of ran up in front of him like this. Actually, that's what I should be doing. I should just be just kind of hugging him. Actually, no, this is terrible. This really hurts. Ow. Please don't. Not again. Once was enough. I don't need to die again. You dead yet? There he goes. The Lord of Hatred shall darken the world no longer. Ah, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. That was fine. Mm -mm -mm. Is there a number? Is there a cap to the number of skill points we can put into Holy Fire? Uh. Faust seems to be on top of things with uh, the suggestions, so if, he, if they're saying 20, then 20 is probably it. Uh, actually. <laughs> or is that 23 because of my staff? Does my staff do that? Yeah, my staff does the 3. So we might be maxed out. We'll find out shortly. And this all looks like some fun stuff. Hold on a minute. What we got here? A little smoke sphere? Okay, okay, we're gonna press play. A little chain gloves. A little shame man there. A little bit I can't. Alright, well I didn't want the I didn't want the longbow anyway. Alright, yay, we did it. Uh what's the goal here? Quest completed. I think we're done with Act 3. Oh wait a minute. Correct me if I'm wrong, don't we? Yes, we do. Through the portal. Eerie music. Act far. All right, we're moving along. Zimadias, you've been playing Grime recently. Tried it once before my absorb only run and couldn't really get into it, but you have since beat the game and you're at New Game Plus Coda right now. Safe to say you found the fun. That's awesome. Glad you like it. People talking. People talking everywhere. All right, let's see. What's this got going on? 86, not 107. No, we're going to sell that. And then obviously we're going to sell that. And what are these? 27. Oh, 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 put those in there. How do I make this work? Eh, eh. There we go. But yeah, that's awesome. I'm glad you found that. I am excited for Grime 2. I also need to finish the dev challenge run that they gave me. It's on the docket. We'll probably that'll probably come out in November if I had to guess. But but yeah, that's uh that'll be a good one. That'll be a good roundup of the series. What am I looking at here? Defense extra gold by two hundred percent, thirty eight percent better. What are these? Chance guards. Really good for magifying. Yeah, clearly. All right, well, you know, woo. I won't say no to that. All right, Act Four, let's go. What do you need? First things first. You can have this and this and this. Can I sell you Mephisto's stone? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot. Um, I don't think we're gonna get anything better than the plus three that we already have here. The only thing we could get is like a plus three plus three, which would be cool. All right, so we're topped off on that, so I'm not worried about that. The shield is pretty bitching as well. Uh, we just got super awesome of those. What is this? 25, 57, 61. No, oh, we got to get that. It's not like this thing's special anyway. Kingly. King me. That lightning resistance would have helped earlier. Uh, you just got a little bit of everything here, don't you? Okie dokie. No, that'll do it. Let me put away my gold before I lose that again. And then, uh... Alright, let's go. <laughs> it's okay, Liam. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it was it was bound to happen. It wasn't you. It was the build. Um, I was so used to everything just bouncing off of me that as soon as, uh, as soon as something didn't, it kind of threw me for a loop, and that was that. Let's 
bound to happen. I doubt it won't happen again. I imagine some of these flamethrower guys here are going to melt me down pretty good. So, look forward to that. Uh, they take a lot of hits. Not, uh, not digging that. I mean, they are champions, so... Makes sense. Eh, decent experience, not great. Alright, well, he's just gonna be a pain in my ass, so we're just gonna move on. Alright. You're welcome to follow me if you like, but... I ain't helping. Alright. Almost there. We're looking for, like, the River of Flame. That's our next destination here. Well, I guess we still have to find, uh... Something... The Plains of Peril or some shit like that. And, uh, you know. God, are you dead yet? Come on, man. Go somewhere else, dude. It's despair, that's what it was. I knew it was something like that. Okay. How's the damage on the Doom Knights? Uh, it's not terrible, it's not bad. They go down. Oh god, I'm stuck. Yeah, you can get through Diablo 2 pretty quick. If you've got an actual build and you're not being an idiot like me, um, you can probably... I mean, fuck. The speedruns for the Sorcerer, which is... Uh, or Sorceress, rather. Which I do believe is the fastest character for the game. Um, her speedruns are like... I think they got it under an hour now. Right? I think they've cleared Diablo 2 in under an hour. And that's, that's with the DLCs included. Which is insane. Am I going to skip you as well? Uh, no. No, we might... I mean, if he gives us two points, we might as well get him, right? No, we might as well get all the skill points. Because I can... Well, even if we're maxed out on... Oh, there he is. Hey, look. Oh, he's actually taking some good damage, too. I'm trying to save myself. You, you stay over there. Let's, let's find a nice little ring around the rosy thing for you. Let's find somewhere. Yeah, this will do. Um, but yeah, even if we can't put more points into the holy fire, we can put points into fire resistance, which actually boosts the damage by 21% each time. So, highly worth it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing this for a bit. <laughs> we're just going to be doing this for a bit. If we can find somewhere to actually, like, just sit, sit him down. Impossible. He doesn't seem to want to get stuck, though. Which is fine. Ow. Skill points for survival skills would be nice, but also time constraints. Yeah, no, we're not worried about that. Glass cannon all the way. Let's go. We, we don't have time for that kind of thing. Proper builds. You guys are funny. What are we at? Half? Half is good. Woo. You shooting at me. Get out of here. What do you think this is? Might as well get a little XP while we're running around, huh? Run away! You dead yet? Come on now. Oh, 
from running in a circle. The best defense of any isometric RPG. So long as you have something that you can throw at them every once in a while. Yeah. This feels a lot like you work as a QA person. <laughs> Alright, but what happens if I run in a circle? <laughs> Does it break the AI? Answer? Technically, no. Doesn't break the AI. Breaks the game. Doesn't break the AI. Ooh, clever girl. If only you were a tad faster. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Probably another 10 seconds. Oh, boy. Well, killing all these guys around Diablo's arena is going to be fun. Can't wait for that. It'll be alright, though. You dead yet? How about now? Now? Uh, now. There he goes. Hello. Hi, Gabriel. What a close battle. Ah, uh, yeah, it was pretty close. Very true. Very true. A nail biter to the end. How can one who was once so holy fall so far from the ruby? Paladin, you're asking all the wrong questions there, my man. All right. Right, if anyone sees a staircase that looks like it goes down into a lava pit, let me know. That's what we're looking for. It's probably in the center. But the old eyes ain't what they used to be, so... If you guys see it before I do, give a shout. on the next map all right well all right well in that case if you see stairs let me know <laughs> Look, chat just tell me where to go all right that's what we're that's what i'm getting at here <laughs> just tell me where to shoot is it up on the top right they always seem to be up on the top right perhaps not Yeah, okay. Let's let's go back down to the Let's go back this way. Don't you start with the poison. Don't you start. Hey, right, look at all the demons. And just like that. Away they go. I banish ye with a stern look of disapproval. Spend the next century thinking about what you've done. It's always on the outer edge and the river's in the center. Yeah. Yep, it's around here somewhere. I see what might be it. Hard to quite tell because map. We need to go now. No, no, no. We gotta stay in the Queens of Despair first. Hey, yow. Whenever you're ready, game, you go ahead and give me those stairs, all right, buddy? I'm ready. I'm willing. I am able. Just, just give it. Give it to Papa. There we go. Okay. City of the Damned. Woohoo. Okay. Ooh, lots of, lots of, lots of demons in here. Very strong, very icky. Oh boy. Actually, 
not a good place to be. Um, okay. We need to find... The stairs in the center. Yee! Yee! Too much. Turn it back now, y'all. One banish this time. Banish to the left. Banish to the right. Freeze, everyone. Please praise the Lord. Okay. Well, there are. It's just swarming. I guess this is their city and all, but shit. There it is. Ah, it's bright. Okay. <laughs> Who would have thought the fire in hell's a bad time? Not I. I certainly wouldn't have guessed that. Neither would Urder over here. See? He didn't know. Urder thought it was all fun and games. Never took those fire safety classes seriously, and look at him now. Dead as a doornail. The Pit Lords are another matter, though. They are a problem. You will. You will. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you're all buffed up. Okay. That's ideal. Here. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, you made it. Not even close. And a ring? What kind of ring? Garbage ring. All right. Tighten there. There we go. We're okay. Impossible. Yeah. I can't. Bad pathing. Okay. Are you there yet? Close, baby. Not even close. And you all were worried. Okay, we gotta play the old Dark Souls way. You gotta learn back to where you've already been. Safer. Okay. Elden Ring, if you will. Yeah. Yeah. Still no word on that DLC, huh? God, it must suck if you actually like Elden Ring. <laughs> this must suck if you actually like Elden Ring right about now. Be driving you nuts. FromSoft, get your shit together. Thank you for Armored Core 6. Now, where's our Elden Ring DLC?
Now they did a great job on Armor Core 6. I'm very pleased with it. Feels real good. Makes me real happy. It's probably one of the few times I've actually been excited to go into New Game Plus. And New Game Plus Plus. I've done it for all the achievements and stuff for Dark Souls and all them, but... Dark, aside from Dark Souls 2... Which changed up the game quite a bit with the uh, New Game Plus. Uh, it's good to see them doing it yet again. Feels good. Stamina Shrine, hell yeah. Thingamajig, hell yeah. Alright, so there's this guy being like, Hey, wait, before you go over here, you should go to the Soul Forge or whatever. To which I say, Soul Forge? I don't even know him. And then I wander, I, I laugh and I run away. And then I die immediately because I'm stuck on all the enemies. <laughs> There we go. Was it a Doctor Who reference? I don't even... If it was, it was unintentional. Armor Core looks like it's gonna melt your PC. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yo! That's true, it could be. I think... I think a lot of people have been saying that they have no problems when they... Like, they could turn it down to low. You know? And you probably don't lose a whole lot with it. I mean, you're going to lose a lot of the sparkles, but, like, just the sparkles, so. You all dead yet? Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. There they go. That it? That's it. Good. Oh, God. Murder, no. Just going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. What was surprising to me was that Armored Core 6 was harder on your CPU than your GPU. That is kind of strange. Huh. Couldn't tell you why. Am I good? Yeah, I'm doing fine, I'll be. Getting tired. Finally getting tired. But we're also close to Diablo, so I can't stop now. Can't stop now. We're almost at the DLC. We're making progress. Okay, just kind of learn everybody back a little bit. Yeah, if I can clear Diablo to to this morning, I was gonna say tonight, but if I can clear Diablo this morning, I will call it a success and I will lay down and let sweet sleep take me. And if not, I'll try to do it anyway. But won't be as fun or easy. <coughs> Whew. Okay. <laughs> if I say so. Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I'll be. I appreciate your concern, buddy. Learn everyone out so we can get this party going. I can't. Okay. Front room cleared. That's good. We like that. That giant mess of it. Oh, God, there's a lot of enemies here. We don't like that as much. Ooh, you're very quick. Oh, God, it's Seath. <laughs> Seath, no. I'm sorry. You're just such an easy boss. I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. Ooh, he's very fast and very resistant to my fire. This is not, uh... This is not the good time I was promised. Hold on a minute. See if we can't murder a few other things while I'm here. So it's gonna take a hot minute. Should also probably lay down a teleporter. Should probably lay down the TP. Hold on a minute. All right, safety TP. We're good. Let's go. There we go. There's some death. 
Come on. Just need a little more experience. There it is. Take this. And we've confirmed we cannot put into holy fire. So, defense. Resist fire. There we go. Oh my god, I am almost dead. Not even close. You thought. Now enjoy your extra 20% damage there. It's your payment for all the blind jokes, isn't it? It might be. It very well might be. We just gotta make sure Seath doesn't get his revenge. That's all we gotta do. If we do that, everything's fine. The order will remain. Small charm, I guess. Well, run away from you. We can cast, see what's going on here. What is this? A lightning defense, damage, something like that. Whatever it is, it's garbage. You died yet? Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Pyronethics? Uh, yep, yep. Uh, literally everyone in every comment section of every video has been yelling at me that I need to do Liza P Kazumbles only. So it is, uh, you could say it's on my mind. Yeah. I've been made way, I've been made aware. Impossible. So I need to do some research. I have to actually play the game, figure out how it works. Uh, figure out how to get my hands on appropriate numbers of consumables and how to make them better and blah 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 blah. So there's a lot of moving parts that are going into that run, but I will be looking into it, yes. For now, the simpler things, where we run in a circle and everything dies. Because sometimes 12 hours of research is kind of a lot. And it's nice to just tell everyone to just die and watch them do exactly that. All because you asked politely. Ooh, a yellow mask. What might that be? Okay. What do we have here? Uh, well, Nova. Sockets of 2, 61 versus 13, so it's garbage. Uh, I don't want to cast Nova on accident. It's okay. I wouldn't say, I'm not going to say it would disregard all the rules or anything, but if we can avoid it, we will. Liza P has a really short parry window. Okay, I'm game for that. I can make work with that. Oof. Alright, so the little guys are almost dead. There they go. Right, so what's going on with you? What are you? You're immune to fire. Shit. Well, we knew this was going to happen, didn't we? What did I just get? Is it strength? Yeah. Okay, so, um... So, chat. How does this work? Do I need to... Was was I right in my last video where I need to kill all the minions? Like Lord DeSace and everybody else, I need to kill all them? Liza P isn't that hard if you've played FromSoft games. But what if I haven't played FromSoft games? Then what? <laughs> yeah, right. Looking forward to it. We'll get it. We'll get it done. Who's up here? Who the hell was that? I guess he's dead now. It doesn't matter. Don't need to kill the minions, just the elite ones. Yeah. So, for example, uh, that guy. <laughs> Alright. We will try the lure out strat. I'm not a fan of it, but that's fine. Um, ooh, there's a lot going on up there. What the fuck? And everybody follow the leader. Everybody get on screen now. No one gets their free ice cream if you're not on screen. I 
There we go. Solera is back just in time for us to find a fire immune boss over here. Actually, yeah, that's another question. Um, if I were to quit and therefore reset this area, is there a chance that I would get a, uh, a new mini boss that is not fire immune, or is that is that a guarantee now? Like I know Lord Desais is uh, is a guarantee, and that's why the last run got stuck. But I don't think. He's always fire immune? Shit. Is that the case? Oh, that'd be a bummer. I didn't know if it was like rolling those randomly or what. Maybe still worth a try? Uh, yeah, maybe. What happened with our ice aura? It's still it's still an option. Um, we would need a level. Ooh, straight up your skull. Yoink. Holy shock. Uh, yeah, either like the the ice aura or the lightning aura. Either one would be fine. Yeah. Um. Either one would be fine. But we do, like I said, we would need to level up, so. Wow, I forgot about those guys. Those guys are so strong. Holy shit. Alright. I got two skill points in town? Oh, do I? Do I? No, I have zero skill choices remaining here. I think I, I mean I think I understand what you're saying. I haven't smashed these walls thing though. Yeah. I didn't go out of my way to get the soul stone, so or to smash the soul stone rather. So I might not have those things that you think I have. I can't. Impossible. Yee! You guys are something else. Put on the armor. There we go. Mm, you're so fast. Israel gives two skill points when you talk to Tyrael. Oh, got it. Okay. Well, yeah, shit. We'll use that then. Uh, yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do, because there's no point in doing all this if we're just going to have to reset it anyway. So let's do this. We're going to go back to town. Real quick. Actually, was there... Uh, yeah, we'll go back to town to confirm this. Alright. Where's the teleporter? Where's the teleporter in this bitch? It's back on the top, isn't it? Hi, Terio. Thanks. Okay. Cool. Um, we're gonna hold on to those. Teleporter. All right. So I have the River of Flame, which is good. <sighs> okay. So I'm gonna save and exit. This guy's actually farther along than Thorns is. Shit. It's crazy. Damn, man, that's crazy. Flame. Let's try this. Ooh, hold on one second. Okay. I had to stretch out there for a second there. Lower res chargers can be bought in Act 1 or 2. You can roll on any random wand. Eh. You should try to put a point in Holy Shield or you can't because only fire. Only. Oh, uh, yeah, we're trying to do Holy Fire only. But, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so first things first. I'm going to try and see if re-rolling the areas 
was enough to um, hopefully possibly get rid of that fire immunity. There's a great chance that it won't. And if that's the case, that sucks. But if that's what happens, then we have our backup plan of uh, making this an aura only run instead of just a holy fire run. Um, and that way we can just kind of put one or two points into uh, like frost aura or even the lightning aura, whichever one is better. Um, and that'll get us through. Is holy fire not a firebomb? I mean, it is. You know, in its own way. It's its own blessing, you know? Just like immolation. It's not our preferred method of worship, but gets the job done. <laughs> Midnight Rider, it's in your name, man. I don't I don't know what to tell you. I didn't name you. Talk to your parents, say like why did you name me this way? Why have you done this? Hopefully they've got an answer for you. Impossible. Let me know how it goes. Alright, we're in the chaos sanctuary. Impossible. Ooh, this is full of assholes. Alright, let's see. Set that up. What if I take that? Impossible. Yes, please. Take those. Yep. Guy is trapped inside there. That's weird. Didn't know they could even get in there. Come on. Impossible. Who's this? Immune to fire. So that's another. But he's random again. Like that guy was not. Hmm. That guy was not last time. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Since when was immolation a blessing? Well, that's how we got it. We got the blessing of the firebomb goddess, and she gave us immolation. I didn't say it was a good one. <laughs> I, she's she can be fickle hmm. let's see alright so people are saying we can remove the fire immune with a lower resist charge wand that sounds like effort though That sounds like effort, and the whole point of this run is to not do a bunch of effort. So I'm looking for solutions here. Hmm. Must be all those conversations you're skip, skip, skip with her. Yeah, maybe. She got tired of saying, bear, seek, seek, lest. We went from bearer seek seek list to bearer seek seek burn. So one is always fire immune then? Is that what we're thinking? Hmm. As you recall, three can get fire immune, two are always fire immune. Yeah, I think it's more of a, a normal. I think it's much less than that, but yeah. I think it's much less than that, but I think you're right. I think there's probably one that's always fire immune. Hmm. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to look at our options here. Uh, all right, holy freeze. I do not have holy shock because that is requires level twenty four, and apparently I am level twenty six. How? What? Oh, right. You need to have holy freeze. I see. All right, cold damage. Two to six damage. Wow, 
That is... That is gonna suck. Uh, that's an option, but it's gonna suck. And this one's 1 to 20. Who boy. Um... Thorns? Do we go thorns? Do I pump thorns? Because if it's just fire red... But then we run the risk of something being... I don't know. Because what if something is fire immune and does it only magic attacks? If that's the case, then we're fucked. Hmm. We gotta respec in Act 1. I think I already did because I fucked something up in the very beginning of the run. So here's what we're gonna do put one point into thorns. Yow. One point into thorns. Obviously, we're not using it just yet. We just got our fire thing on. Okay, everyone's dead. Time to go shopping. Okay. Put on thorns. All right. Don't do the burning. Yeah, just the stabbing. There you go. There we go. It's less than ideal. But it's working. He's healing. He's healing quite a bit. What the I fuck? Can't. Okay. Uh, new plan. New plan. Empty the coffers. Let's go. Thorns doesn't work on decise. Yeah, I know. That's okay. But the other, my other skill will. I don't want to gamble. Hold on a minute. Here, take this. Take this. Why do I even have that? Um, definitely take that. Okay. Okay, okay. Nope. Just hanging on to that for funsies. Okay. Do you sell potions? You do! Okay. Um, this one. Yeah, it's not great damage. It's not. It's not good. Um, it's one of those skills that uh, when, when you've got more points in it, it works better. All right, but this is only two to six, and that's like, fucking awful. So I will go. We're gonna dump. We're gonna dump into thorns a little bit harder. Hello. Wait a minute, please. All right, I'm ready now. Go ahead. 290%. Why are you regaining health? I can't. I can't. Impossible. I can't. How? What is this shit? Alright. Chat's saying this is not one of the guys we need to kill, so we're just gonna fucking run. We're just gonna move on. That, uh, that is some bullshit. That's not good. Shift right click on the pots fills my inventory all the way? I thought it was shift left click. Does that, to shift right click actually like put all of them in there? Cause that'd be useful. That'd be nice. All right, everybody gather round. Got a lot of announcements today, so we'll just get this all out of the way once at a, one at a time here. Let's go. Alright. That wasn't so bad. Touch this. What do we got? Stormcaster. There's our immune to fire guy. So that is consistent. Impossible. That's the ideal. Oh god, oh shit. Oh fuck. Of course there's a lot of money there too. Why wouldn't there be? Lemon, you fool. Hey, free ring. I am overburdened. Never mind. Oh, 
Oh, who's all this now? Who the hell are you? I remember you. Alright. Let's try this again. Maybe don't get cornered this time. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe we fry a few of these guys before we rush in there. That'd be good too, I think. I can't. Ooh, man, it gets ugly in there real fast. Fire immune boy. That's well and good. I am Where is my body? There it is. I can't. Okay. I'll set on everything except this guy here. hurts a lot, but it also hurts him, so we'll make it work. There we go. Alright. <laughs> Moving on. Whew. Okay. Let's see. So everyone's saying No, see, shift right click just puts them, you just drink it. So, you gotta shift left click. Alright. Moving right along. Alright, Faust, have a good one, man. Thanks for all your help. Appreciate it. <coughs> okay. Oh, shift right to click is to buy an inventory for them. I see. Okay, I get you now. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Impossible. All right. Wards. We don't want them around. There we go. Oops, still another one. Impossible. Okay, guess the rest of them ran off. That's fine by me. Touch this. No summon. Life is good. Oh, nope. Spoke too soon. It's Lord Decise and friends. Or to say, excuse me. What is today's gimmick? You're looking at it. It's thorns, both range. <laughs> Alright, good news. Lord DeSace is actually dying. This is good. It's working. Fucking got him. There we go. Progress. Progress. <laughs> Thanks, Pyro. Appreciate the well wishes. A scepter here. Hold on a minute. Uh, 
Ah, uh, garbage. Womp womp. Touch this. Nothing on that one? Okay. There, there they are. <laughs> There's the mob squad. We knew they were here somewhere. How are we doing on these guys? Regular Venom Lords are almost dead. Big guy, not so much. That's okay. Who's this guy? Let's get out of here. Inspector of Souls. What up, dude? I think we're just gonna keep playing it like we're doing. Just playing gentle keep away. Tee do I remember when someone made an official 3.5e campaign setting for Diablo 2? I do not. No, I did not hear about that. You dead yet? Come on, man. Whew. Not gonna lie. Getting tired here. Getting tired. Would like to be done. Would like to kill Diablo so I can get some sleep. I can get up in like three more hours and go and <laughs> go to work and then it'll be good. I can't. Oh, don't touch him. Oh. Whoopsies. A little micro nap there for a second. Dead yet? There we go. Okay. How are we looking? Not even death can save you from me. Oh, well, all right then. Hi, Diablo. Ow. <laughs> I haven't fought you in years. This is going to be a little rough. I can tell already. We're hitting him? Yeah, we are hitting him at least. I don't have to be anywhere near you. I'm just gonna hide in my little corner. To eat that hit, but other than that. Ooh! Creepy boy. I'm falling asleep. <laughs> Diablo, you're boring me. I'm falling asleep. Thanks, Don. We got this. We got this. Don believes in us. I believe in us, too. Probably. Diablo, where are you going? There you are. We can play this game. I don't mind this one. It's that attack there that doesn't do me well. How are we doing? 
We're on the L. Past the L, even, some might say. This run is no longer an L. <laughs> Keep coming awake for five more minutes. That's all we need. That's all we need, let's be real. Just gotta stay focused. But not too focused, because if I get too focused, I'll get sleepy. Need to ride that middle line. We can do it. Got the A. The horns! Give them the horns! And then we were at D. There. Come on, buddy. Give it up. Hey, what? You can do freeze? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, that's new. I didn't know you could do that. Clever. That was a good wombo combo you had there. Oof, woke up from that micro nap just in time. <laughs> Come on. Dip, dive, duck, dodge, du dodge, duck. D d dip. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Hey. Well, dang. That was pretty intense. I am now to loot the body! <laughs> Let's see, probably nothing there, right? Jam that in there. Impossible. Alright, that's fine. Move this here. Bone shield. Yeah, get that out of here. Chain gloves, chain boots. Oh, yeah, there we go. And the rest of it's fine. Yes! Uh, wait, there's something I'm supposed to do now. Material? Do I go to Tyrael? I feel like I go to Tyrael. Yeah, probably Tyrael. Okay. Let's go find out. First things first. What do we get? This is a... S what? <laughs> Assassin skills? Okay. Well, we'll be giving that away. Uh, Poison resistance, repairs durability, and hits defense. Yeah, I mean, it's better for poison. I think this has extra going on is the heal stamina portion. Yeah, okay. That's fine. What is that person doing? We can also send racket over there. Defense strength. Yeah, no, it's not going to be better than the thing I've got. And then this guy, Milabrega's Orb, the kite shield. Wow, look at that shield. Beautiful. Let's see. All right. This one had uh, six resistance and half freeze duration. This guy has much less block chance, but it does smite damage? 
What? And 20% getting magic items. Jesus Christ. The defense of 44. Jesus Christ. That answers that. Put it in there. Who? We'll take it. The bone shield is the wall of the eyeless shield. Do we want that? All shields have sm uh, smite damage, do they? Oh, really? Oh yeah, this one does too. Huh. Interesting. I had no idea. I had never noticed. Well, hell, let's go get the last of the goodies, huh? Let's get the last of the goodies, see what they got. Not those. Where did I leave? The bone shield. The broad axe. Let's get this in here somehow. I'll just... Chug, 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 chug. Okay. How big is this? Too big. Too big won't work. Hmm. That's okay. We don't care about the axe. The axe could never be anything I'd use. All right. Survey says... Yep, it is in fact the wall of the eyeless bone shield. You guys and your... Knowing how to see things, you guys are crazy. Master cast rate, mana stolen, mana after each kill. Yeah, no, that's gonna help us. Wow, look at that shield, though. Ugh. Anyway, sub -terial. Oh, thanks for the the I thing. Was... Alright, I'm running away. Go back to these bozos down here. What do you need? Hey, take this, and this, and this, and this, and I think that's it. Er, no, it's not. I also have this thing. You can have that too. Alright. One last fast check here to make sure we're not missing out on anything. I think. Good to go. Alright. Woo! Awesome. Let's uh, get the cutscene for Act 5 real quick. Faster hit recovery is an awesome stat. Oh, epilogue. Excuse me. There we go. And skip. Skip, skip, skip. Skip, 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 skip. There we go. All right. See, I don't think I have anything that needs to go in there. I guess we'll do that. That should be good. I still have that. Um, we can definitely sell that later. Whoo! A lot of places to go. I do not remember this act at all. Okay. Yeah, well, that's definitely for uh, another time. That is definitely something for another time, for sure. Anyway, uh, chat. <sighs> Thank you for keeping me company until I got tired. I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Hope everything goes well for you. If you need to get some sleep, I invite you to do so. If not, and it's the beginning of your day, then have a good one altogether. And, uh, like I said, hopefully sometime this week, if I am able to throw the video together quickly enough, we will have time to do another stream this week for Blasphemous. If not, uh, it'll probably be a few weeks before I get back to streaming on this channel. So, we will, uh, we'll see. But, in any case, everyone, thanks again. Appreciate you. Hope you all have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. We'll see you all again soon.